You know what? We're going to go ahead and fucking start this shit. You said what? Yeah, because he ain't going to play no damn chess. Not by his fucking self. And not with me either. <laughs> he don't want to play with you anymore? No, bro. He doesn't want to play with me at all anymore. That's crazy. He said that I, I done pissed him off and said that he, he don't want to play chess this? with me. Huh? You done started this? Yeah, fuck it. I don't give a shit. All right. Fuck it. Start this bitch off right while we're waiting on Joshua. Josh, Josh, Joshua. Joshua White. Hell yeah. Can you hear me, Seth? I can hear you. Can I hear you? Joshua can you hear me now? Green. Can you hear me now? Verizon, can you hear me now? Have a good weekend. Actually, I use Verizon. Holy shit. They should pay me. They should pay you. They should pay me. I just That's give them royalties. And advertisements? Yes. That's royalties. Yep. Yep. We'll we get got there our, one day. We got a little chicken here. Chicken. That's a pretty cool little chicken. Yeah, bro. We really do need to get a chessboard, though. Yeah, We bro. could have like a little... I kind of want a marble one. It's kind of weird doing this in the day. Daytime. Yeah, it is a little bit. At nighttime, it was cool because you had like the the light over here changing colors. You had these on, and uh, I mean it's cool doing it during the day. We, have, we haven't done that many during the day, have we? No. Uh, but if we got a chessboard, would you really play chess with me? Occasionally, yeah. <laughs> Occasionally. It, well, I, you already know I'm already. I walk in and out of here a lot. Oh yeah. So I mean, there's. Oh, yeah. Like after this, I gotta go put mulch out. I just found oh, that yeah. out today. I gotta go put mulch out. And then tomorrow you just won't be here. And the next day you won't. Well, tomorrow you I'll just be pay here. rent here. You don't no, live I'll, here. I'll be here. <laughs> I'll definitely be sleeping here. So. J -j 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 Joshua. <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, I meant to ask you earlier. Um, when do you plan on going to the beach? Uh, next week. So do you, is it like a certain day? Or I guess it's going to be a different day. Different. I mean, it may be this week, depending on when I post this. <laughs> yeah. Because I might like, schedule this to post next so, week. So you're leaving like what? Like on July 1st or something? Or like July Yeah, 3rd? but we don't need to tell nobody. Well, I'm going to be here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Seth right. can hold it down. Yeah, yeah Seth will hold fine. this bitch down. Hell yeah. Okay. Then yeah. reason why I was asking is because... Cameron called me today asking if I wanted to go to Pigeon Forge with him again like last year. And I was uh -huh. like, well, I don't really know because you're going to be heading out. And uh, I'm not really trying to spend a bunch of cash on a trip already. Because Noah already asked me yeah. to go to New York with him this October. Oh, uh, yeah. That's just going to be a lot of money. I would love to. That would actually be New York? awesome. Yeah. I, have uh, either one of y'all been to New York? No, no sir. If, if you go, the Empire State Building, bro, is pretty uh -huh. cool because they've actually... <laughs> There's a damn uh, gift shop in there. Yeah. Like a whole ass store. Really? It's like a food line in the damn halfway up I the damn Empire State I think you told me about that. Line. Yeah, the little uh, New York tag thing on my keychain. Did you ever go on the 13th it. floor? Uh, I went on the 80th observation floor. I think there's like an 80th floor and then there's like an 80th. I was going to say, what is it like where people live or is it like a work <laughs> it's tower? Weird. It's It's like the first, it's really high ceilings and they have everything kind of organized for people that are like in lines and stuff and then you go up this ramp and then there's like this big open area and there's elevators everywhere and you got this person that's in a suit hmm. and they they're like directing traffic except it's people into elevators oh sure yeah and when you get into the elevator it's all led inside so when you you're going up the floors you can see you can see like the history of it being built so that you'll look around you'll see like the people working on the building as you're going up the floors hmm and then at the top, bro, they they sell Is champagne. Is Josh still here? <laughs> well, you didn't have to do that. You can't see out the window. His car should be parked out front, Sierra. Damn. No. It's in front of yours. It should I think. be in front of both of our cars. It's he not might, there. He might have parked in the uh, old lady spot. He parked in a different spot. Wait, you said what? <laughs> well, he should be right there in front of ours, in front of mine and your car. <laughs> what the hell? Did Josh dip out on us? He might have had an emergency, man. Oh, he just texted me. Oh, what did he say? Uh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. 
No. Sierra, we still got this podcast going. This is still a, this is still a podcast. Well, sit down. If you want to join. Uh, he, he have to go? Yeah. I guess he had to go. Damn. That's crazy. Damn. Well, that makes for interesting content. Yeah, fuck it. We got Mason. Did we even get a picture of Josh in here? I don't don't think so. (laughs) I think he sat down and then he left. (laughs) Well, then, Sierra, I guess just kind of point the camera over here a little bit then. (laughs) So we can kind of cut that. Sierra, no, not like that. You have to just, yeah. Yeah, There you go. (laughs) At an angle. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Thanks, Sierra. Well, damn. (laughs) Damn, Josh. Damn. I was ready to play chess with him, too. Yeah, bro. He w- he said he wanted to play. I, I for real though. Eventually we should get a marble. Ch- you know it would look nice too in here, bro. It would look chest. nice as fuck. Where I would, know. Where would you want to put it at though? We need a marble. We could have one right right here. I mean, if we put podcast. if we put one right there though, like um, we wouldn't have any room. Well, on that table. Yeah, that's why I'm saying that something maybe. God, the thing is, and that's I mean, not gonna sit right on that because the way the material. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we can just. We can just leave it there. I need to ask Dad about that. Until uh, remember that uh, little coffee table that he had in the shed. Yeah, that Seth, had the marble top. The coffee the green one? table. The greenish colored one. I ain't gonna lie, Seth. That's a, a greenish marble. I really don't fuck with that coffee table. We'll get a different one. That we'll thing get... was big as hell. You don't fuck with this ottoman? It's all right. But if you're it's gonna put a, a coffee table, though. it's not a coffee <laughs> table. But the thing is, if you put a marble chessboard on there, I don't know if it's gonna. It might kind of sit off the. You edge. just need to get something like. Wood or something to put on top. You think you so? get like a little IKEA could, coffee table? Yeah, like a small one. Like a because like, I don't. I really don't want anything big right here. No. I think this size right here is perfect. Yeah, you could get one that has the same dimensions probably, but, but you'd um, have to just do measurements and look online. Or, yeah, I mean you got like a um, antique shop, don't you? Right down the road. Yeah, for, yeah, we do. Holy shit! Yeah, because you could probably walk in there and just. See, I've been in there. They got yeah. some cool stuff. It's been a while, though. But I think your IKEA, like you were saying, that would look better in here. IKEA and their stuff. It's, a lot of it is if you're just getting a, a little coffee table, it's maybe like fifty, seventy bucks, maybe. Yeah, it's cheaper. It. It's cheaper. And yeah, for real, it's cheaper, and it's. I mean, it's decent quality for what it is. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it gets a job. Fuck with IKEA. Really. I fuck with IKEA. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. Damn, I fuck with Josh too, but. Yeah, I fuck with Josh. I fuck with Josh. Damn it. That it's sucks. like I'm over here talking to imaginary Josh. Damn. Damn. We got it all set up for him, too. I know. That's all right. We got Mason, though. Yeah, Mason's here. He'll be back Mason's in 30 the seconds. fucking man. He'll be back what? In 30 seconds. Swear to God. Swear. Holy shit. Did he, he said, say he was? He said that. He said, he said he he was. Was. <laughs> He said, give me 30 <laughs> seconds. Damn. Damn it, man. <sighs> Damn it, Josh. Why'd you do this to us? That's how it is oh, sometimes, God. I guess. I guess that's how it is sometimes. I guess. Sometimes, yeah, emergency happened, and I don't know what happened. I'm not going to ask. Emergency happened. Emergency. Well, uh... Minor emergency. Minor. <laughs> kind of. We'll talk about kinda it so, in a minute. Sort of a little bit. Afterwards. Yeah. Damn it, Josh. Well, that's okay. What you been up to, Mason? <laughs> <laughs> Chilling, bro. Chilling. Just hanging out. Really? Hell yeah. You know how to play chess? A little bit. Really? Would you like to play chess with me after this? Sure. Really? Yeah. Holy That'd shit. That'd be badass. That would be badass. Would you like to play chess, Seth? I gotta put mulch out. Oh, fuck that mulch, man. No, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna make my parents put mulch out. Well, that's all right. You don't live there no more. It doesn't matter. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> my parents put mulch out all the time without me. Well, they were already pulling up bushes and stuff. I would have helped them right then and there, but like I said, I had to do this at four. They, yeah. didn't, they didn't never tell me nothing about it, but I'll... That my stepdad looked at me and said, you're going to miss out on the fun. I was like, damn, right, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to miss out on all that fun, do you, Seth? Putting out the mulch, and then I'm going to do a workout, and then yeah, come back here, and then probably have to do that again tomorrow, probably. There'll probably be something else yeah, going. Yeah. They're probably chopping down a tree tomorrow, and I'll have to help them out with that. Shortest podcast upload? Yet. Shortest podcast? This one? Yeah. It, we'll st- nah, we'll, we'll still go. We'll oh, still yeah. go. We'll still go a little bit. Fuck it. I mean, I, honestly, I wasn't really planning on heading out until 6, and it's not even 4.30. Yeah, bro, we got time, Mason. Fuck yeah. Unless you don't have time. Oh, I'm chilling. Unless you got an emergency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit, I might have an emergency. All right. shit. Damn, I think the mulch is here. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go unload this mulch for your mom. Well, it, you've been there. There's a fuck ton of mulch. 
It's not yeah. like a little pad. Mulch. Yeah, it's, there's a lot that has to be put out. Roof or roof? Roof. Roof. Roof, roof. Roof, roof, roof. <laughs> We're just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> there is literally no topic. I know. But That's okay. We can just bullshit the whole thing. Yeah. It's just got to be entertainment. It's, it's wholehearted entertainment, not wholehearted not bullshit. Let's fucking go. He's Josh coming back. Oh, oh is he coming go. back? Oh, yeah. yeah. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. That's all right. We just got to bullshit the whole thing till Josh gets here. You can just cut all this shit out. Nah, no, we'll just <laughs> leave it. That's why you gotta be careful what you we say because you don't edit nothing. Yeah, we don't edit shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What are some What are some things that you definitely cannot say? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's just go through a list so that we know. Oh, definitely, I don't think never we can list them it. if we can't. You say can't them. list them. It's not. Even, uh, we'll just like. It's not like, listable. No, like we can. We can just like. We general, can't say conspiracy theories. theories. Yeah, general. Well, I'm not you say what? Generalize. Can't talk about conspiracy theories. Yes, you can. No, you'll end up with some poison in your coffee. No. Fucking hell. No, no, no. We can definitely talk about conspiracy theories. Can we talk about demons? I mean, what? I don't know, I guess. Atheists probably don't care. What do you say, Mason? Or do you watch TikTok? Yeah. You do? No, I don't have a TikTok, honestly. You don't have TikTok? No, no, no. Do you have TikTok, Seth? Probably not. I... Uh, I do, but I never use it. Bro, have you, you know about this happy birthday grimace thing that's going on at McDonald's? No, what the fuck is that? Uh -uh. They got some kind of like (laughs) purple milkshake. It's like blueberries and um, raspberries and some shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a trend on TikTok right now. Uh And it's like people getting this grimace shake and they're like, yeah, we're going to try the grimace shake. Uh And uh, they try it and then they cut and it's like them like puking the shit up and <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> like skits and shit like like five nights at freddy's type what shit what the fuck yeah Damn. it's funny as hell bro i love it that made you think of that that what that made you think about that whenever yeah, i said just, demons just all the purple <laughs> oh, oh yeah this purple all the right. purple purple sofa about say couch <laughs> yeah it's not a couch it's a sofa it's a fucking sofa it's a sofa this is a really. It's all I about the quality. Yeah, quality. it's all about the quality. Is. This is we a got good a hell quality. of a deal. This is fucking. This is velvet. We won't tell velvet. them. We won't tell them the deal that we got. No, that's all right. We can't. We can't disclose. But it that. was a fraction of the cost. It was. Yeah. It was almost pennies on the dollar. This is a fuck. You can get a couch. Uh, <laughs> you can get a sofa <laughs> like this for a few grand. Pennies I on the dollar. I thought it was six. But we can't. Yep. Oh, it's six. Yeah. Well, six I mean, it depends. Six or five. five. It really depends because yeah. um, because they buy them and whole, the wholesalers buy these sofas. How much do they buy? Would they buy this wholesale? Like, two? I don't know. I don't know if I could declo- disclose that either. Oh, okay. Well, that well that, that, <laughs> add that to the list of stuff you can't talk about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, can't yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. Bit, like internal. Yeah, I, I know exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, can't talk about um. But then again, they don't even know wh- who made this sofa. They don't. Ah, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. The people that know me know. I, I don't know you. Uh, well, I don't know you. I don't know you. What's this, uh, what's this chicken? guy's name? This right here is a chicken. Chicken Doolittle. Yep. Uh, uh, you know how on the, the sky's other, falling. You know how on a couple other podcasts ago, like uh, that you was on? A couple the podcasts ago. Yeah, the yeah, first the first one. Yeah, yeah, the first one that we did with the video. Like three days oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Um, I had claimed that Sierra uh, lost my hoodie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. F- she found it uh, and bought you a chicken? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that ain't how it worked. Okay, so all that bullshit happened, and then I got into this argument and shit, and then later on, I went to work, and then I found my hoodie there. At, at work? At work. At work. Yep. So apparently, I had had a, another sweatshirt that looks similar to this. So she lost a different one. She didn't lose one at she, all. She didn't lose one at all. He oh. just. I just made a mistake. I he damn bro assumed. She I was, assumed at least, at least you fessed up to it though. Yeah, yeah and he made. A I trip. assumed that I got that hoodie and brought it with us, but then I gave it to her. That's what I thought. But apparently, it was a, another sweatshirt, and I didn't pay attention to what it was because I never had it on. So eventually, I found it at work, and then I came uh, on the way back. I bought her this chicken. Yeah, you bought and her you bought the her, chicken. Uh, I bought her the chicken. This is Sierra's f- chicken. Dinner and stuff like that. And I bought her Chick Fil A. Fitting, fitting, exactly. Yeah, that's good. That's good. 
Nice. Yep, we ate his brothers and sisters. Did, the, did Bradley bring it to you? I know he does Uber Eats. Bring what? The chick Oh, no, we went and got it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, bro. So I apologized and everything, and I apologize once again. Where do y'all go when you need shit like that? Like Chick-fil-A or like something bigger than Walmart? Just Chick-fil-A or Walmart. Or like... <laughs> Like a meal? Like but a, like, do you go to like Hickory or you go to States? Oh, Hill yeah, Hickory. Wilkesburg? Well, actually, I went to Statesville for the Chick-fil-A, but Hickory preferably. Preferably Hickory. Usually, which Chick-fil-A do you go to the most? The one on 70? Yeah. By the mall? By yep. the mall? Yeah, but not the one at the mall because that one's shitty. Yeah, that one is shit. The one in the mall is yeah. not as good. Yeah, you remember whenever we used to work at the mall? I remember that. That was a pretty cool time. That yeah. Was a pr- that was a... Cool little sometimes, transitional point bro, there was sometimes I would leave the whole ass mall just to go to that Chick Fil A over there on the other side. Mm-hmm. So I that, didn't eat the Chick Fil A there because the they chi- had better chicken. They had shit. better chicken at the one that was uh, not in the mall, but across from it. And they also had a limited, more of a limited menu. Because remember yeah. when they f- first came out with the mac and cheese? Yeah, they didn't carry that in the mall. And I remember asking about. Oh, it. Sure. They're like, we don't have that, but we got chicken noodle soup. And I think one point they said they didn't have tenders either. Bro, you know they got they rid of spicy tenders. tenders. You said what? They got rid of spicy tenders. What the fuck? They never. I mean, they did get rid of them. Yeah. Bro, I used to, hell, I just had that like a month ago. Yeah, they just got rid of them. Damn. What the spicy tenders? Yeah. Do they even have tenders anymore? Uh, yeah, yeah, they got regular. They got ones. new. T- they got new regular tenders. Oh, okay. Lame. Yeah, I, like I the wish they'd make words. spicy nuggets. That would be cool. I wonder yeah. why they got rid of them. Spicy Chick-fil-A nuggets would fucking slap, dude. They would. Sometimes I debate getting a spicy sandwich and just cutting it up. But then I'm <laughs> then I feel like a child. Why? Why would you do that? So man? I can have spicy nuggets. Why don't you want the spicy sandwich? Well, I usually just eat the sandwich. Why not spicy tenders? Those spicy tenders were good. I used to get spicy tenders that's every time. I, that's what I used to get all the time, bro. You put me on to those. You know what I get now? Bro, I just got tired of their sauce. I get a big-ass meal. I get a chicken sandwich with no pickles. I get a large fry with that, an eight-count nugget, and a four-count strip or tender, whatever oh, the fuck it's called. Hell yeah, and I eat all of it. Bro, I can barely down... A sandwich and I mac do, and cheese. I do intermittent fasting, so I only so, eat like once or twice a day. So you eat like a meal and a half in one setting. Yeah. So you eat like a, two meals and a half in one setting. I was wondering about that because like, yeah, definitely. like me. So you try to get all your calories in at one time. Absolutely. That's fair. Yep, or I guess like you're, twice. I, I guess you're just like, really, you get you probably eat around the same time every day. Yeah, right around the same time every day. I was going to say. I mean, you, it has to be, be within an eating window. I was so, going to say, you got to be hungry as shit at one point. In the, in the yeah. Day. So it's supposed to be, I have like a 10 hour eating window, but I try to make it eight. That's optimal. That's I mean, 10 is better because you have more time to eat. Right. But eight is, you try to do eight because so that you have leeway for the morning and then the afternoon. Because it, your body's very particular about when you eat and how you right. metabolize that food, especially after you do it so often. You know, it's really, really bad for you to eat like two or three hours before you go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. But you, you gain so much weight doing that. Yep. Definitely, for sure. That's crazy. And what is, also... What is it that your body doesn't process the stuff and it just goes to fat well, instead? It, like if you think about it it, 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 it doesn't process it because, well... It still processes it, but you're you're not doing anything. You're sleeping. Mm-hmm. So just... All those calories are just added on. Right. I did not know that. You're not doing anything to work them off. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people sweat in their sleep, but... Yeah, that makes not, sense, I wonder how many calories you're burning in your sleep. I don't know. They say that you're not supposed to eat as soon as you wake up either. It's better to eat at least an hour after or more. It's better to wait more, actually. Yeah, I heard it like... If you drink coffee or like any kind of caffeine in the morning, mm-hmm. if you wait for an hour after you wake up, yeah. you won't have that crash. It's true. I've noticed that's, that too. That's actually very, very of, true. Like today, I was up, right, but I didn't drink coffee right away. Yeah, I've tr- I tried that. Like, I, I mean, I've too. been trying it. I've been doing it now since I since I heard it. I heard it from uh, Andrew Huberman on um, YouTube. He's the one that is, uh, what does he do again? He, he's a neuroscientist. Neuroscientist, okay, yeah. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, now. and he you was talking about the effects of coffee and shit, and um, he was saying that 
that exact thing that you should wait an hour after you get up to drink coffee and then you won't have a crash and then he explained the science behind it but that's crazy i'm not able to explain that (laughs) i don't really recall most people don't know that and they're just like man coffee's making me crash and shit Josh, oh, hey Josh, actually, can you move this camera over a little bit? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah just, we moved it over. We thought you was gone forever, Josh. That's all That's good, all right, brother. Man. Yeah, bro, just make sure you're in a shot. If you can see, just put me on the edge and, and make I'm, sure I'll be good. Mason's in I'm the chilling shot right here. here. Yeah, you got it, Josh. Let's fucking go. We already Hell got this yeah. podcast running and everything, bro. Hell yeah. You're in it, bro. We I got Josh in the you. fucking cut. Huh? Oh, sound. Yeah, you yeah can. can you hear? Oh, you might have to turn that mic on, too. Yeah, I think yeah just after you get it adjusted. You got to turn, cool. this, turn this big one. Yeah. Turn, turn, yeah. The, yeah, li- yeah. the little one. Will, the will, big one. The big one will bring it up and down, and then the little yeah, one will pull yeah. it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now push it up. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And as long as you have it like aimed directly at you. Yeah, just get it like right right here. Yeah, right there at your mouth. Wherever yeah. you're gonna chill. Yeah, wherever you're gonna chill at. You lean back and Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And a lot of people have a tough time of like Because a lot of people will talk like this, like they're away from the mic. Like Lyndon has Lyndon, a bad time with that. But too. Lyndon talks real loud, so it kinda helps out that Yeah, yeah usually and then whenever he talks, he's talking like this into yeah, the mic. I remember we were talking and we were like, Hey, you were like, Turn your mic on. A There's bit, a little switch he, right here. He, yeah. he like started yelling. It's on the, yeah. I had to tell him I had to tell him several uh-huh. times. There you yeah. go. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go golfing. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we talking about? We talking about what the fuck ever. We're talking right? about you, bro. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> about you. Nah. I don't have much to know. No. Yeah. What you been up to, Josh? Yeah, man. Not shit. I work. That's you work. About it. That's it. Mm-hmm. I feel. Well, I that. mean, you know, that's just how it is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I fuck with that. You fuck with this chicken? Yeah, I fuck with the chicken. Yeah, bro. Actually, little chicken do little. I really did forget what we was talking about. Though. We were talking about caffeine. Oh, we're talking about caffeine. Oh, yeah. Caffeine. Like the, you you drink caffeine. coffee? No. No, you don't drink any caffeine. Mm, zero. Whoa, Holy do you shit. inject caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> caffeine <laughs> pills. Bro, bro, I used to I used to do or not do. I used to drink coffee, you know, like black coffee when I did upholstery. Uh-huh. Yeah. Black coffee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you know, like I it was like a hard day or it was, like, it was a hard day at work, so I would have to have coffee, but then I decided and then I would work out. Uh-huh. And I would take a I would I would go to work, drink uh-huh. coffee, and then I'd go work out, drink a pre-workout, and that shit would make my skin crawl. Oh shit! Oh, I know like, exactly I what you're, oh, what you're yeah. talking about. Where it's yeah. like tingly, like at the, that pre-workout yeah. will fuck it, you it, up. Exactly, and I didn't like that <laughs> shit. And yep. um, I didn't like. And then it got to a point where I was like, "Fuck, I need my coffee." Yeah. For work, mm-hmm. you might as well. And I was like, "I don't, I don't want to depend on caffeine." So I quit. I just quit oh, drinking yeah. it straight up, and I quit taking uh, pre-workout and everything. It's hard not to depend on caffeine. And I, you know, I start, I start saying, you know, I don't, I don't need caffeine. I got, all the caffeine is in my balls. Oh, yeah, <laughs> testosterone. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So you do no fap. No fap. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You gotta you gotta restore the the youth in you. Yeah, retention, semen right. retention. I fuck with that heavy. <laughs> I mean, you can have semen retention, but you can't help it when you when you got a nut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, damn, I'm trying to bust this nut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro, I fuck with it. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Josh, bro, this is awesome to see you. We're dude, definitely, yeah, dude, it's awesome to see you, Carson. Oh, we're definitely gonna play some chess after this. I didn't know you knew how to play chess. Dude, I know how to play chess. A lot of people don't even know how to Do play. You chess. play like um, and there's like different rules, but you got like like castling, and then um, absolutely, either like one or two moves on the first. Bro, point. I play tournament rules. What's that? Castling and shit. Castling, yeah. and then so what? Do you do you have the option to do uh? Move forward two spots with a pawn on the first move. Or? Absolutely, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the rules I know. Then and there's a crazy, there's a one crazy thing Mind that the I shot, don't. By the way, I don't think so. Do I need to scoot up. Some? I don't know. Do you? I need to sit up or something. Can you see yourself? I, think, you don't I, have to sit I up. think I can see you and the camera moving right now, but it is pretty close to being out of frame though. If you lean all the way back, you probably won't be able to see it all the way. Um, but there is one move in. God damn it. 
there is one move in chess that I'm not really familiar with. I know that it's a that it's a. <laughs> I know it's a move, but I don't really know how it works. Um, it's that if there's a if there's a pawn that moves forward two spaces from the beginning, you've got to be fucking kidding me. It's probably it's probably how the base is set up, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I love the, the abstract art in here. Yeah. Thanks. This bro. is all his. This is all. That's his all yours, work. huh? Yes, yeah, so, all so, Carson. You yeah. can look at it like if you see it right there on that one. You see his. He put Barson on it. Oh yeah, bro. I paint. I painted all these, man. Yeah. So is this sober Barson paintings? Oh yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't smoke or do anything, do anything anymore. Do anything anymore. Yeah, bro. I've been completely sober for I don't know how long. How long? It's been a while. I wish I could what? say the same. Yeah, it's been a long time. Maybe a little bit. Of you had some. Uh, really. Oh, I'm talking away. From <laughs> That's oh, all right. Good. Maybe a little bit of tree, but I wish I. I but it ain't. It's, it's probably not really as much as it used to be. You just no. been smoking pot. You do anything else? No, I, I mean I smoke nicotine and you know like you know vape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's it. Yeah, yeah. You um, you do like Delta Eight or anything? Yes. Oh, you fuck with Delta Eight? Yeah, bro. Cause cause fuck uh, having the smelly illegal shit in my car all the oh, fucking yeah. time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, bro. Fuck that. The I, convenience, bro. Bro, I used to do Delta Eight all the time. It is convenient as fuck. Like you, it's either hit that or spark up a joint in the middle of your shift. Like yeah, and what mm -hmm. you gonna do? Yeah, and definitely you can smell, you it. smell it. For sure, I fuck with Delta Eight heavy. Well, not anymore, but Delta Eight's kind of weird. Like you still fuck with it, you just don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Word. Word. It's like um, you can build a tolerance to it really fast. Uh huh. And it becomes, like, I don't even know, like, your mind, it becomes more of like a fogness than just like a high. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. You yep, know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. I know like exactly what you mean. Like or something. You're in just like mi this middle state all, yeah. all the time. And yeah, because you're you're like, you don't want to stop because, I mean, you feel good on it, mm -hmm. you know? Like shit, like right now, like, I'm, well, I'm not like baked, but I'm just... Uh -huh. You're just chilling. You're know mellow. I mean? Yeah, I definitely know how that Buzzing. is, bro. Word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, I definitely fuck with that. I know what I want to talk about, though. I want to talk about money. You want to talk about money? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, bro. Talk about money. Fuck it. Yeah, what I you like want to talk about, about money. money, Hal? I want to hear ideas. Ideas? I, I want to hear what's, what's on your mind about money. What's on my mind? Like, I want to, like, because you know what? Uh, a nine to five is not how you make money. It's not? No, it's not. It can be. Okay, you can make you can like make a live you can make a living. Yeah, on a nine to five. Uh huh. But you cannot you you're not breaking out with a nine to five. So like you can't, like you can't you can't do what you you can't like you always got to depend like a de dependent. Yeah, you kind of got to. Your income's kind of restricted to how many hours you can put into it. Yeah, exactly. like you can well, like, it, yeah, go ahead. you can um, it's like a starting point. You know, exactly. it's like a video yeah. game. It's like a starting point, but it isn't really. There's there's a lot more to it than that, but a lot of people just kind of do that, and then that's it. You know, like even with the Robin Hood thing, we were talking about yeah. how like there's uh, uh, if you have the money just sitting in an account, there's like a, almost a five percent interest on your cash. Like just sitting if, there, just sitting there. Yeah. So if you had like a hundred G in there, you're gonna make almost five thousand dollars just having the money sitting there. I think you're. I think that they say like um, eighty. I I don't want to butcher this number, but some it's something high like that. Like eighty percent of millionaires are actually it has all their money in like a four hundred one k. Yeah, and that and they actually started doing like a nine to five job. Dude, yeah. I used to work with this dude um, like a year ago. His uh -huh. name was River Rat, mm -hmm. and River Rat lives like one. And he uh, River Rat. Yeah, he doesn't. Li he doesn't buy new clothes or anything he's got like two beaters like two beater cars yeah. yeah and he's got when he retires he'll have three million in the bank yes sir from just working a nine to five that's how you do it bro. With, <laughs> that's how you do it with a nine to five but when yes. I say talk that's about if money, you can hold the same job exactly. yeah because you have to build on that 401k and he's getting like a 50 percent return on his checks yeah and that's crazy yeah that is awesome and if you have that investments that pay dividends like like I said, like that four percent, you could probably put that in. It. There's like technology indexes or or uh, indexes where you can get like three, four percent. If you had three mil, it, it, that's like forty k on every mil. So that's like forty eight. Yeah. That's one hundred twenty thousand dollars passive income, mm -hmm. while it's also uh, getting gaining like a five to seven percent return. 
and you said Uber he, Tom. And you said he's got beater cars, so he doesn't have any car payments. That's right. He doesn't. Does he own his house? No. He eats tomato soup and saltines for lunch every day. So then you don't have to worry about going out to eat. Exactly. That takes up most of my money. Dude, for he, real. He keeps yep. old Coca Coke bottles and fills them up with water at the water fountain. Mm. So he's taking. He's like hardcore yes. with the. He's yes, not sir. like a, I don't know like a survivalist, but he's like a minimal a yeah. minimalist in a way. Yeah. Like yeah, we he, don't buy water over here either. Buy no, water he, bottles. He has a little uh oh, bro, radio if you, on his belt. If you oh, want oh, some shit. water, by the way, though, bro, I'm gonna. We got a uh, we bad. got some cups <laughs> in there, I'm, and then we got uh, you want me to get you some water, bro? bro you want yeah. some water? I'll take some water. Okay, sure, bro. let me let me. I feel that. Uh, let me put you onto this. All right, <laughs> all you motherfuckers too. Great, great value water. All right. On the back of this label, it says, return the package for replacement or money back. That means you drink these motherfuckers, you save all of them, you take them back to Walmart, and they give you a free another pack. Oh, really? Yes, sir. I did not you know just that. take back the whole pack? You just take back all the bottles. So you, give, you say five cents? Huh? Did you say like five cents or a certain amount? No. They'll give whatever you, the you Whatever you for paid free. for this pack of water, Yeah. they'll give you your money back or they'll give you... Another pack of water. Damn. For I did free. not know that. that is bad so you buy one and you get them for life. Or until Infin- they no longer hack. put this on the back of the water. Infinite water. That's some cool I shit. I swear right it there. says it. It says it on there. Oh, hell yes, sir. Hell yes, sir. No, nah, but when I mean money, I mean like cash flow. Oh, you can do like having investment properties. and <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. So, so let me spill my idea real quick. Or not my idea, but like what I tried to do. Yeah. ASMR contracts contracts getting fixer uppers under contract so this is what you do you get um I think I even talked to you about this because yeah. it's like a no risk type of thing mm-hmm. because and anybody can do it which is so appealing to me because I'm not any not I'm not special you know what I'm saying mm-hmm no, no big money, no degree. You know what I'm saying? So like, you get these, you get these beaters under under contract. Mm-hmm. You, you buy the house and you get the house under contract with the owner, and when you just sell the contracts to investors. Like, say this house was a, uh, you know, missing windows and whatnot, but it wasn't like the roof wasn't falling apart, right? Yeah. You buy the house for you know, if this was a house, you know, like maybe 15k or less, sell the contract for a five grand upcharge. To an investor who can who actually has the money to fix it to flip and it, put yeah. it back on the market, and it's just middleman money. And, and that's I guess the same thing there, with wholesaling. And th- yeah, wholesaling it, it is wholesaling. And, and I, I guess from there too, like you'd eventually get enough saved up that you can you don't have to be the middleman anymore. You can be the guy that is the one fixing it up. Exactly. Anybody can do it. You just gotta have the. You just gotta have the. The balls. I mean, it, well, and well, you gotta have the you gotta time. have the houses to do it too. Yeah. Well, see, you know here's the thing. I, here's an example. I had a house under contract in Forest City for um thir- for thirty five grand under contract because I have an LLC. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah. I didn't know that, bro. Yes, bro. LLC. I made it like six months ago for for j- just for this. What I'm telling y'all, mm. and I because I wanted to try it, and I. Just turned out that it, I had it for uh, two years, just too high. Like I was getting offers for the same amount, or like a grand under, mm-hmm. and you know you want that like five grand, ten grand difference. Yeah, definitely. But I just couldn't get it because it wasn't worth it, and I couldn't get any other houses under contract because everybody, not everybody, but there's a lot of people like Facebook Marketplace, um, even Craigslist, and there are these other websites that have lists of all you know these properties and like um, different. You know, I can't. Different, different locations, equ- different prices. Yeah. Josh putting on game. <laughs> yeah, bro. I know what he's well, talking see, that's about. That's just one example, though. That's just I went one through example. it, too. Yeah, it's definitely hard to sell things like that, especially with the saturated market now. Yeah, you just, yeah, I mean, like, especially you, just with the internet. The, it's just about getting the number right. Because I had, yeah. like, um, and a, like this website that um, you just basically type in the information, like cost, and you would estimate um, repair value and all that type of stuff. And it'll give you like the price mark and what how much you could make off of it if Mm -hmm. you sold it for that much. So that helped me out a lot because you know I'm not I wasn't doing like a bunch of math behind the scenes, you know. But uh, that's that's just one example of like hundreds of different ways you can make money, like cash flow. Oh yeah, like make money while you sleep. Like I think that's the key. Yeah, I think even Warren Buffett said something about that. You know, 
You need to figure out a way to make money when you're sleeping. Yeah, bro. That's the best way to do it, like automatic. Like there's a book over there called Passive. Automatic Millionaire. Passive. And it tells you that if you want to get, if you want to have money like that, then the, most of the wealthy people that they studied, all of them have everything set on automatic. So it's, or I would say most of them, because yeah, there's a there's a little percentage of them that's making like CEOs of companies, like they're just making money on the spot, like a lot of time their time, like I've seen a lot of different videos of like CEOs making like a flat a flat amount flat salary, like three million dollars or four or five, you know, and then that's just how much money that they make. Dude, you make money and then you hire people to do the stuff you you were just doing for yeah for the management cut and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like with like if you get enough rental properties, you can hire someone to to manage the properties and stuff. Absolutely. And then because the guy that <clears throat> the people that are managing this, they don't they don't own it. They're, the guy that actually owns this and all those Lake Vista properties, he's somewhere in like the Midwest. Yeah. Because I talked to my mom about it, she's like, "Oh yeah, that's so and so and." I was like, oh shit! Like, so that's those women don't even own it; they're just managing the properties. Yeah, and, and I, just making the I money. <laughs> I actually talked to them. I actually, whenever they, um, well, I actually talked to them about going straight to the owner, and they was like, no, 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 you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, they was like because mm-hmm. because you know definitely they're He's not even from around. They're Are probably gonna do here? it cheaper. And first of all, and second of all, if you cut them out, then they're gonna miss out on some shit. That's me. And it, yeah. That's the middle, man. <laughs> yeah. So, because like, because that would happen to me, I'd hit up somebody and like, it's 50, 50, like 20% of the time you're going to get uh-huh. an actual homeowner to take it back. Yep. And then I've had people to go all the way with me up to signing and they would, and they're still skeptical of the fact that I'm not, like I'm a wholesaler. Yeah. And they don't, they don't trust it. And uh, you also yeah. run into, um, uh, realtors who all, mm-hmm. like they're the one, they're posting it for the homeowner already. Oh they're, shit! They're looking for a, a buyer, you know. Like you yeah. can't, like the stuff I'm talking about. You can't do it with like new houses. So they're basically like the owners are basically like whoever sells it first is getting it, mm-hmm. like a yep. commission or something. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you just get a little cut. Yep, and then like, it, the, like, like if, like you, if you sell it, and then the realtors don't sell it, then they're just shit out of a. Yeah, see, deal. like what I was doing is like realtor on a smaller scale. Mm. It's just for less money. Yeah, because like they're making. You know, they can make 50, 60 Gs on one house. But that's how you sell houses without having a real estate license, too. Exactly. Through an LLC. Dude, I had, a, dude, I had actual contracts. Uh-huh. I had, like, three or four different contracts. Yep. Because you have the homeowner sign the contract, then you have a contract for the investor. And you can even do, like, joint ventures. Like, say, yep. say I was, you know, I was looking for a buyer. Yeah. You, and you found a buyer. And you go, hey, I, uh, give me X amount, and I'll give you the buyer. Oh, yeah. So you can do stuff like that as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely cool. Yeah. Yeah, but the, at that point, you probably need to write out like a contract too. Yeah. Like because I, people will fuck you over. Yeah, you need something mm-hmm. in writing. Especially yes. whenever it comes like to corporations and shit like that. Yeah, well, like like I say, we ha- I have like, I just use digital contracts. Yeah. But like, like I never e-sign? had a written one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never had written ones. But like, here's the thing though. Here's, here's the out. So yeah. here, here's how it's risk-free. You get the house under contract, but like these contracts are written by by you. Mm. So, I mean, you can kind of, you know, say what you want. Well, in the contract it says, you know, in thirty day the like I have thirty days to decide to, to like pull out basically. Mm. Mm-hmm. So at the thirtieth day, if I can't, or basically I do like two weeks. Yeah. If you can't sell it in two weeks and then pull out. Oh and shit. And then it's, and then and it's like it never happened. Oh yeah. You're just gonna have to find somebody to sell it to. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of shitty, but it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you most don't of the ways to make money is shitty. But I mean, if you, yeah, I mean, it can be. <laughs> yeah, like you know, selling artwork, huh? Like it's selling artwork, selling artwork. Yeah, because yeah, it's just money laundering. <laughs> no, <laughs> at, at, at the top scale, like you know, like somebody nailing a banana to a to a canvas <laughs> and they sell it for three million to their best friend. Yes, that's money. That's yes. I actually read about that shit. But like stuff like this, like I love it, dude. Like uh-huh. it's like from the mind, and you know, like it's just abstract stuff. Like nobody else can replicate it. Yeah, it's more. It's unique. Yeah, I can like replicate a banana. Shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, no, I, I can't replicate the banana. Not that, that kind of. No, it's it's there's something spe- a little special about it. You, what you mean it's like because just, like, it was? Well, there was a couple things. Like first of all, that banana's not going bad. <laughs> Second of all, the banana that you're talking about that's oh, taped like, on the wall. Oh, okay. That sold for three million dollars. Yeah. It actually did. And yeah. um the guy that did it, I believe, is a, is like one of the same guys that make um 
like make big ass like sharks in tanks and it'll sell them to like billionaires. Uh-huh. Like huge sharks and tanks, and it looks like they're floating in water, but they're not. I mean, but it is an actual real shark. I forgot what the fuck the guy's name is, but if if his name comes to my head, I'll tell you. But that guy's crazy. He sold a lot of crazy work, and he's the same guy who did the banana. Yeah, dude, no way. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so he <laughs> I just don't understand the difference. Like, yeah. how do you make something like that? And then, well, it's because it's something completely off the wall. No, it's, it's on the wall. It's well, yeah. off the wall, it's, but it's on the yeah, wall. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, but it's like, I, I could go, like, say if it was, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, that's how they, that's how it sells for so much is because it's like completely different and you're never going to find anything like that. Like, I guess that's my sales pitch with like paintings and shit because the way that I paint, like, nobody else is going to paint like I paint because I paint like original things. For the most part. Like, I'll have some still lifes, like those flowers or these flowers over here. But I put my own touch to them so they look like cartoons. Speaking of cartoons, I just had my I just had myself drawn yesterday as a cartoon. Really? Yeah. I seen it. It was on my story. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I don't I remember. I, I really I don't remember. Is. Damn it. I'm going to have to look <laughs> at it. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, he, he made me look too good. Did you put it all? It was on <laughs> Snapchat, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I yeah, I seen it. Yeah, everybody saw it, Carson. That's crazy. Damn it. I'm sorry, bro. I may have. I just don't remember. Sometimes I'll be at work and I'll just be like tapping through like stories sometimes. You just get, go through them to go through them. Yeah, and I'm not even like. I don't even want to. I'm not even like paying o- attention. Sometimes it's like OCD. It's like, oh, he's yeah. off here. I'm not even paying attention. It's like to that me going shit. through my emails, half of them are just not even fucking. There's no. I just don't like looking at the little blue dot on the side. Dude, it's yeah. like worth yeah. it. There's like 6,000 or something. Yeah. That's just yeah. in there. Bro, that damn, um, that money shit that you got talking is pretty good there, Josh. It's a good idea. I just couldn't get it. I couldn't, get, I couldn't sell. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. I bet it's the hard thing to is, sell. I was doing it with no job. Uh-huh. And I was depending on it to work. Oh, yeah. Well, I still trust it to work. Uh huh. But I had no, I had no job, so I wasn't working. And I had kind of like the energy. And Are drive. you still doing it? No. What I'm do you do now? It. Well, if right, you I'm still have the deli, you still have the oh, okay. LLC though, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. That's well, then, I could still do it. All I gotta do is get off work and do it. So, are you not still keeping up with the LLC? Is it in like a hundred dollars a year mm-hmm. to keep up with it? Mm-hmm. Um, Dude, they sent me stuff in the mail to buy. Uh, hold on, let me adjust this. Yeah. <laughs> they sent me stuff in the mail to buy uh, posters. Uh, uh-huh. You know the stuff at work they got. Where they got they posted laws. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They sent me uh, order forms to buy those for my house because <laughs> oh, my shit. LLC. It's in like three different letter or different fo- things to fill out to buy them. Really? Because they think for my employees because it's like law or something. So, um, did you write out your own? Um, so you had to have like a business structure. You had to have like a brand, not a brand structure, but like a um, uh, with articles of. Um, what the fuck is it Dude, called? I actually can't think of it. Uh, articles of court. I'm I know what you. I know what y'all are saying, I ha- I but I forgot the word. Articles right now. of um, corporation or something like that. Yeah. I have I have my article right here. Hold on. But did you write it yourself, or the did article? you have a lawyer to do it? No, I had no. The state did. The state mm. wrote it. Hold on, let me find it. I have it somewhere. The state wrote your stuff. Well, you no, have no, no, no. I, I did it with a company, Ink File. Oh, and I registered okay. through there. How much was it? It was like um, two hundred dollars. Oh, so you registered your LLC through them, and mm-hmm. they did your articles for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, you just gave them the certain information. Exactly. And the reason I had to uh, have one is because I have to have a. Uh, I have to have a company to close out my contracts, like to make yeah, to yeah, finalize yeah. them. Definitely. And I have to have basic. I have to have an LLC. And then to taxes do that. as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess like legally, like legally, you have to if you want to sell the house. That's right. But that, but I mean, th- that's like the only investment I had to make. Yeah, you like that's definitely. It. Well, I crazy. mean, I wouldn't let it go to waste either. Do you still plan on uh, doing it? I would like to. I just got really demotivated because I, you know, I spent like three or four months on it and. uh that one house, you know, I spent like a month, you know, a month trying to sell it, and I couldn't get another one under contract during the whole time. I uh-huh. was like, fuck. Have you thought about getting your real estate license? I haven't, but uh, my girl is. Shout out to my girl. She's going to get it and do and uh, be my little lawyer for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Maybe. I think my problem is that I, I want to get an LLC too, but 
um, I want to, there's a, like a certain structure that I want to have and it probably is going to require me to have multiple is it a LLCs. Corp or something like that? Well, no, it's, I know how I want the whole structure to be like, cause I want a parent company basically, mm-hmm. which is going to be the Ace of Arts brand. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to have to have an LLC for that. And then I'm also going to have to have an LLC for wholehearted entertainment. And then once we start making money on this, we're going to have to have an LLC for this as well. Once, at some point when this they start generating income, yeah, um, you're gonna have to. What would you do with the taxes with that? With the how would you record, exactly report that's that? How, that's how. Um, yeah, that's that's we that sunk, would we sunk a pretty penny. But that's this. I know that's what I'm saying though. Like and the, all that stuff can be written off. That's why I keep up with every single penny that goes into this and yeah, comes, oh yeah, comes in and comes out. Yeah, you keep up like with I don't that know stuff. if you do you do that, Josh. You do like budgeting and shit. You budgeting a- I'm, I'm the worst i'm the worst <laughs> with money i'm ac- actually recently i've gotten better with it just because you know i kind of have to yeah but i've never been really good with budgeting i suggest that you um do a budget and do your numbers mm-hmm. i you ain't lying what i do and i was talking to Lennon about this uh, a couple of days ago i don't remember if it was even on the podcast or not but uh we was talking about how i how i uh write down every single penny that goes in and out of all of my accounts. And um, I take, I track all that and I leave it on there. Oh, this here you go, Seth. Oh, so you basically just keep a checkbook. No. Oh, this is really cool right here. Well, I mean, That's it's, it's basically, a uh, it's basically a balance sheet. Sure. Yes. Basically you, you look at money in and money out. Right. Yeah. But I, Mine's a little bit more complex. I keep it a little bit more complex, Loki. These turn, fucking things are fucked, this. ain't they? There you the go. thing is, I think yeah. over time, if you're using, they're gonna wear out the little what the there things that go. tighten it down and loosen it up over time. Oh, maybe here probably. Check that out. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's check J and W investing. J W investing uh, in wholesaling. LLC. Articles of organization them out right now. That's what it is. Shout out to my LLC. It doesn't matter who knows about it. Yeah. <laughs> You can use that LLC, I think, to write stuff off on your taxes too, can mm-hmm. you? Yeah, they try like business uh, expenses. There's so much. That's bullshit. what I was saying, Seth. Do they try to suck every? Not bro, try to suck everything would be a business like, expense. Bro, they the bank was like, "Yeah, we're gonna hire you a tax agent, and we're gonna because uh, you're gonna get calls and emails that you're not gonna want, and we're gonna filter them all out for you. Who and was give saying the ones that? You want the bank, and they were and they want they they want like me to have a small business or bank. something. Yeah, they, they wanted you to have a small business bank account. They want basically wanted me to have an agent with the bank that. All of my sh- all of my offers and shit came through, and they g- gave me the good ones. And like, basically I mean, it's like a it's like also trash filter. it's also good to have an agent as well. You know, maybe not through the bank, but it's good to have an agent. I don't know if you uh, looked into that or not, but it, I mean, it does help you out whenever it comes to certain things like that. It is good, and uh, like tax whenever it comes to taxes and shit. Yeah, especially if you know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, man. <laughs> because yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to money. Because that shit's all fucked. All the these taxes but that's, are fucked up. That's also why you need to have a separate bank account as well. Exactly for like, how much, dude. If money I would actually, in and out. if I would actually been sold selling houses, I would have made. I would set up an account. Uh huh. Because you know, I don't know how to do that shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I usually suggest to do it like after you start making money in it. You know, exactly. because if you because if you try it out and then you know you you ain't gonna make money, like that's with like most businesses. Like with your business, you it was required to have an LLC. But like what we're doing, like with this podcast and shit, if we start making money on it, then that's it'll be after we start making money on it to get the LLC, not beforehand. Like if I sell enough paintings, then I'm gonna start. I'm gonna get a LLC. I'm trying for to sell. That. You said what? I'm trying to sell. Yeah, dude, that's cool. Yeah, bro. I mean. Yeah, They're all not, for sale. <laughs> yeah, bro. I didn't know that. But not. I mean, I haven't really been marketing it. That's that's what I. Might have to pick one out. I've just been. Um, <laughs> Might have to get the naked monster. The naked monster. <laughs> Tree monsters, dude. That's kind of yeah. dude. I'd hate to be on acid in here. Holy fuck! Really? <laughs> <laughs> I know, bro. I think we were talking about that the other night. It right? was. Damn. We really was. I haven't done that shit in a long time. I haven't either. <clears throat> I haven't long done it. Time. And, I think I was at Cameron's house. I took oh, it and I yeah. left. Really? I think. Is hey. with I'm pretty sure you were. The, you did leave. I left. I know I left. I don't know if this is the last time I did it. You ever had a bad trip? No, sir. No? Dude, I don't know how. I've, I have I probably tripped, like actually tripped like 
almost 10 times uh-huh. and i've never had a bad trip me either really but they say it's me either chance. they say it's me either <laughs> no i definitely have you, you just have? once bro uh and i never I did it again <laughs> not on acid though yeah, that, on, that, that made him go cold turkey that, that was a rough yep trip. definitely it was no i mean i mean acid and all that i usually say it's like anti-drug <laughs> because like once you take it Whenever you take it and then, like, you get to that peak, you're usually like, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> dude, I don't know. I, dude, I had I had so much fun. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, even after the come down? The come down sucked, dude. That's what I'm saying. The come down, <laughs> you're like, I want to be, I want to be tripping again. You want to be tripping yeah. again? Oh, yeah. Like The, it, the you, come down sucked because I didn't want to come down. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, it's part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't have the up without going down. Exactly. Yeah. Life lesson. Definitely. There's going to be ups and downs in life, even when you're tripping. <laughs> even when you're tripping. <laughs> Lately, I've started saying uh, life is yin and yang. There's a... Balance. Because you have good and bad. Like, you have you look back on good times, you look on bad times. But you, in the good times, there there was always bad. In the good times, there was always good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Yeah, definitely. If you look back on the bad times, there's always good to see in it. And if you look back on the good times, you know, there's something always you should all take away from it and learn. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, even, definitely. Even bad experiences, you can look at it as a learning experience. Exactly. Character building. Oh, no, that, yeah. That's like the one. That's the best one. It's what bad the bad experience. experiences? You learn more. Yeah, I agree with that too. In, in, in terms of like you know learning and maturing and just. That's why I say that that bad trip was the best trip that I had. Was it a like a wake up? call definitely or just like i don't want to do that shit again yeah. i think from well, what you both. told me yeah. it was like it made you confront things that you weren't confronting exactly it brought it to the forefront and made you face it that's exactly what that did i mean i think that's the whole point of taking it yeah i mean it depends if you're unless you're taking it like i mean if you're taking it to have fun I think then whatever was, i think at one point we was taking it just to just to like just to figure things out you remember that like yeah. we, we, we talked about doing it before we ever did it right like you, me, and Jalen. Yeah. And we would we would talk about like what kind of what we expected and what we expected to get out of it as well. But like at the house that we were all at. Mm. Cams? No. One for my birthday. Oh, oh yeah, the cabin. Oh, that was the cabin. Trip. That was yes, dude, that, that was, was pure was, fucking fun. Yeah. Josh was there. Holy yeah, fuck. Mm. Brady Murray dude, passing out. <laughs> fucking uh, eternal to take drop that day that we oh, went shit. on Mason's birthday. I don't. Oh, I didn't shit. remember that. Yes, bro. We li- it didn't come out that mo- it come out that morning. Yeah, it come out that morning. Oh, shit. I, I looked at on Spotify. You know where it shows the singles. Uh huh. Dude, it, all the songs. I remember there. playing I like, that nice. shit before we left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little Uzi. That was yeah. fucking crazy. And that was the first time. That was the first time uh, I did acid as well. Me and Splendid split a tab. Holy That's shit. right. Yeah, that is right. That was your first time. That was my first time, and and this first time I'm taking acid. I took shrooms before. I think yeah. we talked about it, this at the park. Yeah, uh, but do you remember? Do you remember the girl that Carter was with when they came in? I don't remember her, but I know he was with one. And uh, <laughs> we were gonna make party pizzas or something. Oh god, I already know. Where you and the <laughs> fucking <laughs> the fucking stove was on, bro. It was on for like three and a half hours, but and it was a it was like, a gas stove. Yeah. Damn, or a gas. And we all could have blown the yeah. fuck up. Oh, uh, uh, you're yeah. fucking kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember you talking about that. Yeah, I thought bro. I was gonna say some, shit, say some shit about not being able to eat it because the cheese on it. Fucking Carter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember fucking us. Carter. I remember there was that one time where I was in the kitchen. And, like, my brain shorted out. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, and I, like, passed out. What? I passed out for, like, a minute or in the, two. In that kitchen? Yes. Bro. Dude, at, was it at the refrigerator? Yes. Dude, I remember that now. Did I? Bro. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened, bro. I swear to God, it's like my brain completely shut off. Like an life. off switch. I think I was the one there uh, making uh, checking up on you. I remember that. Yeah, bro. I don't know what the fuck that was. Bro, that shit was crazy, man. I've never, ever, ever had that happen to me before. And it was like, it was like legit, too. Yes, it was. I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, I wasn't even fucked up or anything. <laughs> I mean, we probably smoked a lot that day. We we had a, a whole Maybe lot Maybe you didn't rolled. get a lot of sleep. You had like a micro sleep or something like that. I don't know, bro. I don't know what I don't know how to happened. explain that. You just lose consciousness. Bro, I wish I would have stayed down there in, with, in the room with everybody else. Yeah. Because oh, I, I think me and you stayed... On the main level, and then Carter and his crew stayed upstairs, and then you and Jalen and Lyndon and Trey, 
Trey stayed downstairs. Yeah. Oh, and you had a couple friends there too. And Bryson. Yeah, Austin and Landon. Oh, dude, I they were downstairs yes. too. And they were our trip sitters. Yeah, they yeah. were downstairs too. They yeah. were like, I remember dude, going I remember upstairs and putting my legs through the railing and just fucking swinging my legs. And they were like, uh, "Yo, you, are you okay?" And I had like like the checkerboard yeah. van socks on. I was like, "Bro, this is fucking trippy." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that shit was a trip. But I remember all of us in that small ass room in the basement, like you're talking about, with the bunk beds. Is like was it eight or nine deep in there passing a couple blunts. Bro, in that yeah, big I, remember, ass house? I remember. I yeah, remember finding everybody smoking absolutely. in there. I was like, "Fuck it, fuck it." Yeah, we were just lit up in that whole house and was like passing them back and forth. Fuck yeah, dude. That was a, if we had like five blunts. It would like be like five of us and we had like five blunts just you going had just back a and forth. Just a rotation of blunts. Yeah, yeah everybody sir. always had a blunt. Yep, that's badass. It was Bro, crazy. Mason took like an ounce or some shit. Yeah, and I brought a big jar too. Mm-hmm. That yeah, was I crazy, bro. Was I was going to go on that trip, but I had to work. I Damn. think that's what it was. Yeah. I think so, too. I remember was I was in a group chat for it. And yeah. Stuff. Damn it, man. Yeah, that is right. Yeah. and I Neither was, you or Cam went, I think. Yeah. Well, Cam wasn't there, was it? Oh, no, Cam wasn't. I, I couldn't Damn. get the, the time off because I had just, I was working at Men's Warehouse full time. I was going to say, you were still working at Men's Warehouse. <laughs> I was working yeah. at Men's Warehouse, and I, that summer, I had used up all my vacation time to go on a trip to California, uh-huh. and this was only like when was that trip? In like October, November, or something? Uh, yeah, it's something like, a few, like that. A few months later, I, they asked about. It, and I was like, "Damn, I, I can't go because I ain't got no fucking vacation time." Uh-huh. That's just free marketing, right there. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. You can stand yeah, in yeah. front of the camera right there if you want to, Josh, and just like yeah, just show your forehead yeah, off. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Got yes, got sir. Yes, sir. Go get you one. Got him. Www. Info. I see you watching. I still coffee I see you cups watching that too. Shit. Damn. This yeah, y'all see those piece? people right there? Yeah, look at those people. Yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy. The fuck are you looking at? But they should be on a bigger at? screen next time. Yeah, they definitely should. This is the first piece I've ever fucking touched because I've asked you for a piece for I don't know how long, Carson. What? Ace of Hearts uh, brand. Bro, on the website, bro, you can get it, and you you can get it for how much I pay for it. I think it's like that? twenty bucks, and then like I think it's five dollars for like shipping, so maybe like twenty five. I'm pretty sure. But remember those bracelets I made? Yes. Damn. I don't have, dude. Mine, mine. I had it for a long time, and it's gone. Bracelet? Yeah. You had a bracelet? Yeah, I made a little bracelet thing. When, really? What was that like? Sophomore year? Yeah, it was a big hit. That was a big hit. Yeah, sophomore year. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Oh, what's so special about sophomore year? No, I'm talking about his uh, bracelet. Oh yeah, yeah. Carter had one. Preston had one. Uh, Josh had one. And you only made one white one, didn't you? I only made one white one and one tie dye one. And the tie dye one was for me, but Carter was the only one with a wrist small enough to fucking wear it, so I gave it to him. <laughs> Damn. Mm. <laughs> he don't have. Yeah, he can't get no uh, fat in his body. Yeah, I was wondering. I, I was wondering how he was doing that a couple of days ago. About a week. I, think. I still have his Carter uh, P. Carter P. Carter P. gave me a. He framed it himself a, a portrait of Logic. I still have it. Oh, oh shit. shit! In my room. Logic. Shout out Carter. And I talked to you in uh, like five years. I damn, have I haven't either. Bro, probably the last time I talked to Carter was whenever we was at that damn. Um, cabin. That might have been one yeah, of the last times too. I talked to him. You might really get him yeah. on the actually. Yeah, Carter P. Well, no, we need to. I went to senior week with him. Really? Yeah, he was pissed off that I made <laughs> I made brownies in the fucking hotel room. Oh shit! <laughs> like, space brownies? Yeah, space brownies. Holy shit! Holy shit. He was pissed, dude. How he were was, they? They were wonderful. Really? Yeah. Did they get you zooted? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times those homemade ones. Bro, I remember. Oh my god, dude! I spent like three or four hours making it because you know you got to make the butter. Yeah. And then you got to mm-hmm. make the um. You gotta make the brownies. It also depends if you use like wax or right. Oh, yeah. I used. I think I used both. Oh, oh yeah, shit. and um, yeah, bro, it, it was crazy. But mm-hmm. the whole room smelled like it for a week because I made them on like the second day we were there. Uh huh. And the whole room smelled like it the rest of the time, and um, I finally got him to try one. I think pretty uh-huh. sure I did. But um, he was like the first. Poor Carter. It, they took like two <laughs> hours to kick in. Uh huh. So like an hour went by and he was like, "Bro, I don't feel a damn thing." And like three hours go by, 
This uh-huh. dude cannot get off his bed, dude. I swear. Oh, <laughs> Funny as hell. That reminds me of that OBX trip, bro, where the, the one guy. Where old we buddy hit that the, GB. Yeah, he could He could not move. Bro was like, uh, it was like his first time ever hitting a GB. Yeah. And he rarely ever smoked weed. And I, he was like, give me a really small one for me to hit. And no one cars, and that was not the case. And, bro, I <laughs> I stacked that bitch in there, and I lit it up and pulled it up as slow as I possibly could. Was it a two-liter? It was a two-liter. Or it was like a, I don't remember if it was like a one-gallon. It was a big motherfucker. I don't remember I if it was I did not hit a, it. Was it like a juice ju- juice bottle? Like a Sunny D? I, I don't something? remember if it was a gallon. I bro, said that. I told Lyndon it was like a gallon it. inside I, of a five-gallon bucket. I think Because you was. remember at Alex's. I think it was. Alex's. Yeah. Dude, I built that. Yeah. Bro, it was he a five-gallon had, water jug inside of a big one. ass Tupperware. <laughs> yeah. I filled up with water. Bro, that thing is fucking huge, dude. Damn. God damn. I, I cut the bottom. Like, I got it from Walmart. Uh-huh. It was already full of water. I had to cut the bottom off like you do a soda two liter mm-hmm. yeah. with a fucking box cutter. And it took like 20 minutes. And. <laughs> And made a big ass GB. You had to leave it. You couldn't move it. Bro, and he had that metal barrel that he would make bonfires in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, I've got one. I've got one about Carson real quick. Uh huh. We, <laughs> we, we was we was young. I can't remember, dude. I, dude, we were actually linking up to write. Oh we shit! We were linking up to Probably. write music. Yeah. And, God bless it. And um, I was like, bro, you want to meet up at the chip some uh. There was like my my stepbrother was having a party, like uh-huh. smoking and shit, and we met up there. And anyway, uh, Elijah Clark was handing out uh, free hits of the bong. Oh shit, bro! I know exactly what you're talking about. I never told this story on here. Holy shit! Damn. Uh, Elijah Clark was hanging out free hits of the bong, and Carson was like, uh, "I want to go get one." Bro, it was like a four foot bong. God damn, <laughs> dude! It was a big ass bong, but the thing was, it was uh, uh, uh laced. I think so. It had to have been laced bro. weed of some sort, and uh, Carson, <laughs> Carson got high as fuck. <laughs> I did, and we went back to Carson's car, and he said, "Bro, I can't drive." I can't <laughs> drive. <laughs> it's just the bro. They they passed it to me, and I I never hit a bong before, and I like kind of hit it just with my knowledge Dude, of seeing them hitting it. And he cleared the fuck out. I of ba- it. yeah, I barely hit it at first, and they was like, "Come on, man, mm-hmm. go ahead and hit that shit, clear it out." And I was like, "All right, fuck it." So then they, they pulled out the thing, and then I just ripped it. And I, bro, I was coughing for a solid five minutes. Bro, you remember that glass one we had at Cameron's house? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Bro, bro I, used to, I bought a little dab piece for that thing, too. Really? I know Seth remembers. Yeah, I remember. I remember you used to come Damn. over and you hit the bro, I used to. I used to, like, that was before, like, anybody was into dabs. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, any of us. So I would, like, nobody would hit them with me, so I would just fucking... With the piece, yeah, because that shit gets you fucked up. <laughs> like that yeah. night, Josh. Damn it, bro. It, Carson, that you forgot to drive, ain't it? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. Carson was a. Uh, we was sitting in his car trying to get him sober up, and um, this dude was walking by, and Carson was like, "What's up, man?" And the guy was like, "Who the fuck are you?" Talking he was like, to, "What bro? the fuck did you just say to me?" Yes, <laughs> bro. He got pissed, and I'm already high as. Carson fuck. was like, "No, no, no." I was just saying it. I was saying, "What's up?" <laughs> And I was like, no, nah, I, I had to. Be, I was like, no, nah, bro, it's cool. And and but anyway, we did end up having to teach Carson. Bro, I drive. was like, oh my fucking god! <laughs> his mom called. Your mom called. Bro, my you. mom was spamming me with calls, and he had to improvise. Dude, he was so gone, and he had to improvise the whole conversation. I really did improvise. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were the practice in the driving at that time. I was in the passenger. <laughs> yeah, and you, you were like, I'm going to Josh's, and you came to my house that night and passed out. Yep. Bro, I remember that shit, man. Mm-hmm. I really do remember that shit. I was high as fuck. And then a little bit later, like a week later, we wrote "Like Me." Yeah. How's uh, how's uh, the music? You still do music? No, no, no. I do this instead. <laughs> you do the beats though, don't you? No, you, I mean I haven't been making any oh, recent beats. You've been uploading up, but I just something, I actually something. uploaded some old beats that I made. Yeah. Speaking of beats, um, I've got like a few I need to show you. Really? Yes. Bro, you be making beats? Well, um, I know we was talking about them earlier. Thomas Bryant. Uh, uh-huh. Late last year, I would go, go I'd be hanging out with him a lot. Uh-huh. And yeah, we'd make, uh, dude, we wanted to make a whole album because we got bro. we got heavy into uh, Suicide Boys. I like got a few fucking yeah, bro. Hooked. I got a few songs with him that I did with him. I think last year or so. Mm-hmm. And dude, we got big on the beats and. I, I got some good. I got a couple good ones. Really? I, I made I made like six or seven, but like a few of them are pretty damn good. Damn, bro, that's I have awesome. To show you later. Yeah, bro, definitely, bro. I found um, 
Ethan Kerrigan, he was wanting a, a flash drive with all my music in it because he was really, he was like one of the only ones that really like, he really, really fucked with Dude, there music, was some bro. shit, I would, dude, there's, there was some shit from you and even Thomas that I would add to my sh- playlist. Bro, bro, I have a whole and Dylan. damn, bro, I have a whole damn flash drive full of music on there. Damn. And I deleted all my music on everything else. I think I have probably about like a hundred some songs on there. I only have three songs. <laughs> you only have three songs. None of them by myself. Damn, bro! I really need to. I really need to put those old ones on there. Like eighty four, dude. You had like one album, uh-huh. and then some other ones before on SoundCloud, and you n- and you never. Same same thing with Thomas. They never y'all never dropped y'all shit, and y'all kept getting better. Never dropped what? You know, Jalen, bro. I dropped the albums on uh, Apple Music and Spotify. Yeah, I got dude. I, got, I, I can bro. Even God. Cameron was the same way. Yeah. He would always be making music every yeah. he every still day. Does. He showed me a beat, like a couple. He moved in his own place, but he has like a little studio set up now. Mm-hmm. And he would show me a beat, and I was like, he's like, yeah, man, this beat's real fucking hard, and I'm gonna rap on it. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, bro. And awesome. I, there's some beats that I made with him. Oh, you know that one song that I made the beat. Uh, I mean, he posted that it? on Apple Music. It's called No Hook. Yep. Yeah, he posted that on Spotify. He posted that on like, Apple Music and Spotify, and I made the beat, bro, and it's hard as yep. fuck. Damn. Yeah, bro, we'll play yeah, it after we gotta this, We got to play bro. some shit later. Yeah. yeah, bro, we'll definitely play some oh, shit, dude, man. Speaking of Jalen and the fucking house, well, first of all, let me say, I ain't talked to Jalen in a long time, but I miss him. Yeah. He's dope. He's, he's a cool guy. Jalen's the man. Yeah. Jalen, um... At the house in the at Mason's birthday, dude, uh-huh. he showed me a fucking song on his laptop, uh-huh. and I said, "Bruh, dude, this is the type of shit out here, on, dude. Why is it not on the radio?" Yeah, bro, he makes some good shit, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, it reminded me of like ski mask type shit. Yeah, definitely almost. that specific one. I don't, I haven't heard yeah. much else, but anyway, I was like, "That's fucking good, bro. That's yeah. the best shit, bro." He is he is one person that really kept that shit to himself. Yeah, for real. Like, he never he posted like, anything. He would make shit by himself and then not show anybody. Yeah, he definitely would. He's bad for that. And then you would you would be in the car with him one day, and he'd be playing. It's like you'd be yeah. like, "What is it?" He'll like play it. <laughs> You're like, "This is bad." Who the fuck is that? Yeah, this uh-huh. is fucking awesome. He'll like play it, and he won't even tell you that it's him. Right. He'll just See, like play it. I actually sent him my beats. You like really? I a few people, and he 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 liked them. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure I'm not touching Jalen, but he liked them at least. Yeah, Jalen makes some good beats. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, using yeah, them uh, that Metro Fruity Loop. Yeah, bro. You use Fruity Loops? Is mm-hmm. that what no, Jalen. I know Jalen does. I, don't, I use, uh, dude. I don't even. I, I'm like, like Garage semi, Band. I'm semi original. Semi original. Yes. What does that mean? I, 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 there's this website that uh, it's basically like a shit ton of samples. Oh, you use uh, loops and shit too. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm, I get what you're saying. And you know, like you, you can be creative with it. Yeah. But I, it's still not as satisfied. Like I could imagine myself being way more satisfied with coming up with a fucking loop on a piano and doing effects and Bro, this, that, and the other, and using my voice. I never ever use. There's a couple, a couple beats that I've used the loops for, but I, other than that, I never use. Bro, loops. I, was, I remember seeing you all the time making up your own shit. Bro, I would build everything from the ground up: mm-hmm. hi hats, snares, or claps, and just the. Um, See, you're kind of limited to limited to loops. Symbols. Yeah, seriously. Because I would mm-hmm. be sitting there like, "Fuck, I wish that wasn't there," or "I wish that wasn't snare there every fucking time," mm-hmm. because it's too much. But it takes more time, and it's and it's harder mm-hmm. if you come up with your own shit. Exactly, because dude, I'm not even fucking kidding. Like, 45 minutes, you can have a beat with loops. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can have a semi. You can I have would a spend hours beat. working on beats, mm-hmm. man. Definitely, and that's art. Yeah, because I would make my I would make the drums from scratch and then i would make the synth and everything from scratch but i really don't think like like metro and all them really get the the credit they deserve nah bro like just the artists usually get and then usually the like yeah. metro booming and um like 808 mafia or south side. south side or anybody like that they always whenever they make their shit they have a uh, loops that they usually save they they make they'll make a pattern and a lot of times they won't it. yeah they'll they'll save that pattern and a lot of times they'll put other sounds in there or they'll edit those sounds within the saved loops that they already made and i mean they're original but they'll use the loops that they've already made before that's why a lot of a lot of their beats will sound similar and but i mean they sound good they sound really good and but it's an easier process like that so they can crank out a lot of beats i guess they would have to too with having the they work with multiple artists wouldn't they yeah 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 definitely multiple projects going on at once it's kind of like a free agent what do you mean like 
It's kind of like a so imagine like a fucking star college student uh-huh. with a lot mm-hmm. to offer. Yeah, like a lot to offer with the uh, see because they kind of they kind of have the power in a way. Uh huh. It's like I was just watching something with Southside. Well, let me finish that. Like, because they have stuff to offer. Because so like they can they can be on different albums. Uh huh. Like they could, their their creativity can be shown across different artists and different audiences. Oh yeah. So if they're not signed to to like if they're not signed to a label, some producers are signed to a label though. Oh. I get what you're saying by a free agent now. Yeah. I didn't get what you're they saying. Can, at what, first. what I meant to what I meant yeah. was like they can kind of they can give their beats to whoever. Yeah. Basically, and unless like they're, they're with a contract. Yeah. Like there is some producers that are signed to certain places, and then they can have their shit. They are just spe- specifically uh, supposed to give their beats to the people that are within that label. Mm-hmm. And the it, it's just a, that label. yeah, it really depends on the contract What's that the they example? signed as well. What do you mean? Like, does QC have one? Yeah, or QC is Def like Jam? um, like um, damn, who who is that? Like a bunch of the Migos shit. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to know. think. It's a um, good question. It's, uh, damn, damn it, man! <laughs> I know. I I can't think of anything right off the top of my head. But like, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're right, man. But I mean, like, because like even Def Jam, I'm, I'm I'm sure they got some. And we, some are like artist exclusive. Yeah. Like Logic, he got an exclusive producer. Six. Yeah. Mm. Even I mean, even though Drake's producer is named Six as well. Yeah. But they, they have pro- pro- executive producers. Yeah. You have people like Metro. You know, they he he supplies the whole. A genre. lot of people, mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people. Definitely, you got like Turbo. You got Turbo. You got Wheezy too, don't you? Oh mm-hmm. yeah, I think he signed a QC mm-hmm. or some shit. I know like that. Wheezy out of here. Yeah, yeah QC. Wheezy. Wheezy out of here. I know that a Metro Turbo Wheezy made a lot of beats. I think for Gunna. Yeah, yeah, think, definitely. And Young Thug and I don't know Future too. I guess definitely a lot of people. And uh, holy like, shit, and some and it's even cool because it's so cool how like diverse it can be. I like, guess. Uh, because like some artists are producers themselves. Oh like, yeah, uh, Travis like he's got a self-produced album. I think he's yeah. got albums where he's got like quarter produced. Like uh, Lil Yachty. Yeah. Or Chief Keef. Nav. Oh Nav, yes. He's, he's yeah. a, he produces one hundred percent, right? Yeah. Except, well, he didn't produce that one album with uh, Metro Boomin. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Perfect timing. Uh huh. Yeah. See, a lot of people hate Nav, Metro but Boomin. I've always liked him. Oh yeah, I fuck with Nav. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um. Damn it! Who the fuck else was I saying? Was we talking about? We're talking about people who are producers. Oh uh, yeah, rappers. Lil Yachty did. Um, you know that Drake and Twenty One Al- Savage song? I mean, album. Mm-hmm. He did a lot of that one. He uh, he was the executive producer. He yep. even chose the cover art. So he was, and mm. Take Keith even made that one be even help make that one on on BS or back mm. on BS or mm. whatever it was on bullshit or something. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got some new music on the way, don't we? Yeah, pink tapes. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say for oh, all yeah, the dogs. Uzi. You said what? Pink tapes for all the dogs and uh, Utopia is all what coming is out this year. Oh, you talking dogs. about tra- uh, Travis Scott? Travis yeah, Scott, Utopia, Drake, Utopia. and Lil Uzi. There's a lot of for stuff all the out dogs. This year. For all the dogs by Drake. Oh, bro, I thought that was a book that he was. Nah, it's out a with. he leaked the album through the book. Oh, oh shit, that's badass. What yeah, the like fuck? It, like it's some shit. Yeah, I just saw it like yesterday. Oh wow, that's cool as fuck. Yeah, it'd be cool leaking an album through a book, and it's all like it's a it. Where did it start? Um. It, like his albums are like a name. Um, what's the first one? It's like uh, um, the album before the one with Twenty One. Like honestly, never mind. What's the one before that? Oh, um, it's like views, more life. Um, you're talking about that one. Um, you're talking about that one techno techno album. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I mean, no, like, it's not like a techno. It's a dance album. I mean, like the, his last four albums are all come together. Like the titles run together. Honestly, like uh, Lover. Uh, I can't remember. Certified oh, Lover honestly, Certified never Lover mind. Boy. Her loss. Honestly, never mind. Certified Lover Boy, Dark Lane demo tapes, Scorpion, uh, More Life, and Views. Well, and then it goes to uh, Honestly, Never Mind. Uh, what was the one the, with the pregnant women? Oh, that one's Certified Lover Boy. Certified Lover Boy. This one's. Uh, Honestly, never mind. This one's for all the dogs or some shit. I don't know. I Honestly, never more. mind. That one's for uh, 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 the one with the Twenty One Savage was her loss. Honestly, never mind. Was the dance one, Certified Lover Boy, Dark Lane demo tapes, which is uh, which was a mixtape. Then Scorpion, that was an album. Before before Certified Lover Boy, all of those albums I think got Grammys. Like Scorpion, More Life, Views. Um, I think nothing was the same. 
Yeah, you remember that album, mm-hmm. dude? That was my first. Uh, dude, I could I could rap a, I could rap the whole song to. Um, Baby, you my everything. Yeah, if you're reading this, it's too late. Mm-hmm. Oh, I think that what you're thinking of is uh, best I ever had. Best I ever had. Yep. Mm-hmm. Best I ever had. I think that's on a different album. But uh, it's on. Think, think me later. Yeah, I was going to say. I think, think it's me called later. Think me later. Yeah, I think so. Or it could be on that so far gone. I thought it was on the uh, best I best yeah I ever best had. I ever had. That's so far gone. That's uh-huh. that album. And then the next one was Thank Me Later. The ne- then the next one was Take Care. Take Care, Take was, Care was, yeah, Take Care is probably the be- his best album, honestly. Have y'all heard, in uh, my opinion, the new the new YB and Corday and Juice World song? Yes, Dude, that I have. Fucking good. Lyrical Lemonade. And the video is good. Yeah, Dude, I'm bro. excited for that album. What the album? The Lyrical Lemonade album. Like, that's just the single. Oh, shit, he's dropping an album. Yeah, with like, it's just a bunch of you know, like guest features, oh, featured yeah. producers, and and he's basically, he's making the, a badass music video for everyone. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, that's really how cool. he started out. And, yeah. and his Summer yeah. Smash yeah, uh, the, a few days ago. Yeah. That shit looked dope. Yeah, Cole Bennett is, bro, he's, that guy's got talent for mm-hmm. sure. The for game. Sure. He's like the Metro Boomin of music videos, mm-hmm. yeah. hands down. That, exactly. Definitely. I fuck with Cole Bennett. He's like a, he's like a, he really is a first in the game for that type of stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, he's been able to do some crazy stuff. Yeah, bro. He's been able to do some wild shit. Just like Metro Boomin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. They definitely made their own lane for it, you know? Dude, his uh, mm. uh, Not All Heroes Wear Capes album. Did I listen to that? Oh, that like, yeah. Uh, two years. That one's awesome. Mm-hmm. It's, it, every, it's no skips. Yeah, there is no skips in that one. For sure. Man, no skips. Definitely. I listen to that whole thing all the time. I, 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 dude, I haven't thought of that album in a long time. I'm about to listen to it. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, Heroes and Villains was all right. Mm-hmm. There was, was a couple of them that I wasn't really wasn't really down with. I mean, if they play, if they play like, I'm going to listen to it. Like, and I'm going to fuck with it. But I'm not going to, like, intentionally, like, click on a couple of them. Yeah. But other than that, I fuck with Like, the one with uh, Young Thug, Metro Spider. Mm-hmm. You heard of that one? You like that one? That one, yeah. That one in the car is fucking yeah. hit. Yeah, and then there's a transition one right after. It. Oh yeah, oh, transition. Um, yeah. I can't save you. I can't you save, save you. you. Yep, yeah. it's I can't save you. It's got future. Yep, it's the interlude. It's the like interlude because it, you, you it's hear got the future and Don Tolliver. Yep, and it changes and it goes directly into it. Yeah, and it's almost like an extension of that song. Yeah, bro, it sounds amazing. Like especially, I will listen to those songs back to back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I guess, uh, it's, just, it's one song yeah, yeah. definitely I, that's why I look at it whenever I play it I play it they probably the, made it as one song yeah bro that shit hits in the car oh yeah <laughs> hell yeah I bet with yeah, those damn bro. subs in the car the yeah, subs in his car god damn I just fixed the <laughs> I just fixed the one back there dude I, I can't yeah. remember if it was the Beamer or the Volkswagen and uh, he, he Carson said you gotta put your head in the middle of the car <laughs> like you gotta lean to the middle so yeah. like it's e- so it's equal and, and I'd be like, damn, that shit sounds good. Yeah, it was definitely the Beamer then. It definitely wasn't. I think it was the Beamer. The tweeters it, and that stuff. wasn't the Volkswagen. No, the, Vol- bro, the, the Beamer Volkswagen had better audio. Bro, the Volkswagen was shit. Bro, the Beamer honestly is the best car that I've had. That was Dude, a I good forced, ass car. I forced you to listen to Metallica in that car too. Bro, I fuck with Metallica. Metallica chill. heavy, bro. Hey, that's why I play guitar. You bro, know I sent you. Yes, bro. Bro, you're good as fuck at that. Yeah, bro. That shit is good. Appreciate that. You need to uh you need to learn That's like I t- do you know how long you know how long it took me to learn that? How long? Uh, one night. Swear Damn. to God. Mm-hmm. The next bro. day was just me getting better and better. Bro, that's awesome, Josh. Bro, that's cool as fuck. Mm. You picked that up quick. There is a, there is one on there is one on there that I want you to learn. I don't remember what the fuck it what, is. What album? How's it I going? don't know. I really don't well, do you know. know I would have to song? look at it. Because I, I know like a few Metallica songs. Oh, Metallica. yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Metallica is the shit. They're not even like, it's just another form of uh, like. Only their old shit, though, to me. Because you, yeah, like you the can, 80s and stuff. Yep. Or, I, after this, I'm going to send you a link to a cover of like a, like with piano. Like if you took uh-huh. Metallica, broke it down with like a different instrument. Yeah. And like took out like gritty vocals and stuff. You could have oh. an, a, a, mu- a cl- you could have a musical. The end hands. of one. The end of one? Yep. Okay. <laughs> what, what the? Yeah. Or the solo? Yeah. The I solo? The, uh, or both. Okay. The yeah. whole damn song. Or, um, Hell nah. like, Blackened. 
All blackened, then. Oh, bro. Yeah. Hey, you need to listen to some Pantera. I ain't gonna... Oh, nah. Not no? Pantera, no. No Pantera for me. Nah, Pan- <laughs> Pantera's the shit, man. They're, I mean, honestly, they're all right. If, they, if they're if they playing, like like I'm saying, like those one couple Metro Boomin songs, like if they're playing, I'll fuck with See, it. See, here's the thing. I haven't been into them in a long time, and like I have like a select... They have... Pantera has some songs that are like masterpiece grade. Yeah. And I'm like, they had their guitars... Like you know, you have the Metallica guitar stuff. Uh huh. Their guitars was is better. Oh really? Better. Van Halen buried his original guitar with him with the guitarist. Really? Of Pantera, yes. His Holy original shit. Bumblebee Van yellow guitar that was on his first uh, album. Uh huh. Buried it with him. Wow. He's good. I, I mean, I and I th- I think I know what you mean though. What do you mean? Is it, it uh is it something like to is it about is it to do with the music or the uh, lead singer? Oh, it's, I mean, the music, like the guitar and the band itself is is pretty good, but yeah, like the singer, like the Singer's singing crazy. part of it, like. Oh, you're talking about his vocals? Yeah, like, um, like Dude. Anthrax. Like, I fuck with Anthrax, but I mean, like if they were just to be playing just in, in just like a solo band without a singer, like I would fuck with it. Dude, I've never actually took time to listen to Anthrax. Yeah. But Pan- it's, they're vocal- crazy. Pantera's vocalist, uh-huh. um. He has like, he just he destroyed his voice uh, through like the nineties and stuff. Uh-huh. Before that, you can find some, like he has some of the best vocal range of of any of any singer. He's really? one of the best singers in metal. Really, mm. like there's some there's some songs you should listen to. Like I think you would prefer like thrash metal over like like other metal because there's there's like different types of metal once you start looking what, into what, it. What are like some of your favorite artists then from like the eighties when it came to like. Rock and roll and heavy rock and stuff like that. Metallica, obviously, because I mean, they're like the kind of the pa- the pioneer of, of yeah. metal and or not the pi- they're actually not thrash Black metal. Sa- Black Sabbath. Black oh, Sabbath. Oh yeah. Black that's, Sabbath. That's got to be everybody's favorite. Well, though. Metallica. Ozzy, Ozzy Metallica Ozzy? basically made uh, yes. thrash he metal. Was. Ride the Lightning is the oh yeah is yeah. the original thrash metal album. Yep, definitely. But they also like Metallica. Also, isn't just thrash metal. Like, like. Groups can like expand, like especially not later on. Yeah, like they ha- like they went into like phases and stuff. Of they made shit they shouldn't have. You know? <laughs> yeah, but um, definitely. See, here's the thing though, like they have songs that aren't metal, and they have songs that aren't thrash metal, uh-huh. and they have, and it's all good to me. Yeah, like I like it all. Yeah, and it, it really takes a like I just have to listen to it, I guess, because it, I, I'm I re- I'm I'm a judger. You're a judger, and it like because I'm a type of guy who finds my uh five albums uh-huh. and i listen to them for a while you know mm-hmm. yeah but, uh, i don't know i just fall in love with the music so much yeah definitely what's your favorite though my favorite what like what he was at i don't even my think favorite you asked because like, 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 I, I listen to like judas priest van halen metallica acdc mm-hmm. oh yeah there's like a, AC, there's a range DC, hell yeah. of that stuff um <laughs> black sabbath too because in ozzy osbourne i got some stuff on, he actually came out with like an album like it's like 2007 or something that oh, I, sure. I liked the one of the songs on it. And I forget the name of it though, but um, there's a lot of really cool like he stuff. can barely talk, but he can. <laughs> he did a, it dude, sounded like, like what sing he did. like fuck. Yeah, it sounded like his one of his old songs. I but really it was a newer song. Ozzy, Pantera, uh, Metallica, obviously, yeah. fucking Motorhead, Motorhead. Oh yeah, Megadeth, Megadeth. Yeah. Because uh, that's the big four. And well, Iron, Maiden, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. I haven't actually went on my way to listen to them. They got some good stuff. But they're, they talk more about like, uh, you know, from like the song For Whom the Bell Tolls from Metallica. It's kind of like a song about war or mm-hmm. something like that. They got a real famous song called, I think, The Trooper. And it, it talks about like, because uh, the brand, the, that band is from Great Britain. So they would talk about like battles and stuff that happened like during the Napoleonic times and stuff oh shoot. fighting napoleon or, or first world war stuff like that dude metallica's fam- most famous song one mm-hmm. you heard that song yeah oh yeah i've heard it um it, it's a war song it's about a, a, a it's actually based on a it's actually based off of a movie about a guy who went to war against you know against his own will mm-hmm. and um he got like uh hit by an ied or a landmine he got fucked up he got fucked up and he got all his limbs blown off and he couldn't talk or he, he's basically a vegetable but he was still alive he's still he can think in his brain damn yeah and he and basically the song's about him having to live his life not being able like basically in his head and everybody talking about you know how long to let him live oh shit but yeah like war song like i, I noticed that a lot in metal yeah war politics yep uh religion drugs. master of puppets is about drugs mm-hmm Rooster. 
Rooster, yeah. Alice what, Chains? Alice in Chains? Yeah. yeah. I fuck with Alice in Chains heavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they Definitely. Got, they got quite a few good songs. That was about a guy that yeah. actually existed, the Rooster, during the Vietnam yeah. War. I think he was a sniper or something. He had like 100 or the 200 machine gunner kills. on top of the tank. Oh, he was a machine gunner. I thought he was a sniper. He is a machine gunner. Here comes the Rooster. Yeah. <laughs> take this guy out. The they made a song about you, buddy. Mr. Puyo. <laughs> Puyo. Hell yeah. Damn it. I didn't even get to hear your answer. <laughs> oh, I just said like Ozzy, Pantera, uh, oh, yeah. Metallica, Metallica, Motorhead, Megadeth. Megadeth. Yeah. Um, I get you. And he was talking about one and how it's a war song. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah it is. That's a good ass song. That song. Bro, you can play the intro. Mm-hmm. You can't play that last part. No. <laughs> I learned the intro when I was young, actually. Yeah. That's the only piece I could play for a long time. There was another one that's like goes fucking crazy. Like them. definitely what? ride the lightning. Wherever I may roam. Um oh. is a good one. Oh yeah, that's a really good one. Uh do they have a I mean I, You I know how to do ride the lightning? Disposable heroes. Ride is the good. lightning. He's got yeah. creeping death, fight fire with fire. Um No, just just that song off of that album. Oh, Ride the Lightning, yes. Yeah. It's very good. And they yeah. have instrumentals that you should listen to. Oh um, like yeah! Is oh, battery? My, no, battery ain't one of them. Dude, battery's a good, a good. Or Call one of too. Cthulhu. The Call of Cthulhu is an instrumental. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one the best dude. I listened to it, dude. I was dude blew my brains out. Uh, to live is to die by Metallica is a is a hundred percent melodic instrumental. Yeah. The whole song. Really. And it's 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 great. They only have three. They only have three um instrumentals, and the other one's called Orion, and it's dedicated to oh. their bassist. Bro, I remember you telling me about that. Their bassist Cliff Burton. I remember Burton, that. He died on the Ride the Lightning tour. Damn. Really? Mm-hmm. They're Damn. De- they're basically the album that they blew up on. And he was their uh, creative... Ma- he was their creative... He was the, the mega mind. Was you saying the, the, his, the bassist? Yes. Dude, he was the Damn. mega mind. He had a, a, he, he, he had a degree in music theory. Oh, wow. And he taught James and Kirk how to use... Mel- because there's two guitars in Metallica. There's two uh, guitarists in Metallica. Well, yeah. one's, the, one's the vocalist. But you still oh, have two yeah. guitars, and he taught them how to uh, how to use melodies. Like they uh-huh. basically, even in like guitar riffs where they're going like, do 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 do, whatever. Like you know, like s- like some like like gritty stuff. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And they will like uh, put a melody to it. I don't know. It's like an extra layer. Yeah. But but th- that's why that's why all their early out like their first five albums, four albums are like their what they're known for is because mm. Cliff Cliff has been gone for 30 years. Oh, wow. 40 years, so. R.I.P. Mm-hmm. Damn it, man. The Jimi Hendrix of bass. Yeah, mm. bro. Jimi Hendrix is awesome, too. Mm-hmm. Good song. Uh, all of, I think it's All Along the Watchtower or something like that. That's yeah. The song. That's a good one. Yeah, bro. Definitely. Bro, Mason, what do you fuck with? <laughs> like metal was? Yeah. I mean... All the obvious stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. What's your favorite There's artist now? My favorite artist now? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Suicide Boys? Yeah, Is that not. yours now? Yes. Dude, I slept on them for a long time. They they yeah. are really, really good. I mean, I, I there was a period where they, they were the only thing that I listened to. Uh-huh. But... If I had to pick one and only listen to him for the rest of my life, it'd probably be Juice. Oh, yeah. I figured you would actually say, or X. Say, I I just don't listen to X very much anymore. Really? Not not really. It's Some, a true tragedy, man. Sometimes, yeah. I'll, sometimes I'll go through, like, spurts where I'll listen to him. Yeah. For a couple of days, but then... Yeah. I go back to what, what mm-hmm. I was before. Yeah, I could probably yeah. listen to all of his songs and just... Be cool with all of them. Yeah. I don't think there's a single song that he made that I just really disliked. There's really not. Yeah. And honestly, like, a couple years ago, I liked those, you know, throat cutting, yell, oh, yell yeah, at yelling you motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah, distorted but, yelling, like with uh, yeah, they made a Yeah, they it's made like a lot of them on, hurt. like, the members only yeah. albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like... Now, if I go back and listen to him, I like like the melody singing type. Oh, like um, like his like um the older ones, not the older ones, but I mean his uh, fuck, newer I shit. I forgot what it's called, but they're more like interludes, yeah, than they are songs. Yeah, like before he like he made a lot of more of those before he passed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he 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 definitely chilled out. It's like Mac Miller. 
Like Mac That's Miller true, made yeah. more. Um, he made way more mellow shit before he passed. Bro, away. you know about um, what was that album he made? Not the Divine Feminine. The one after that, I think. Who Mac Miller? Yeah. Uh, the one with his face that had like Donald Trump on it. No, that that was before that. That was before Divine Feminine. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. No, I said after. Oh, after. Oh, okay. Let me see. Sorry about that. You know I named my dog after him? <laughs> it's all oh, good. Yeah, bro. bro, it's all right. So most of the time we're jerking off the fucking mics. Yeah. Anyways. You're always having to like readjust Circles. because you move your head Circles. back. You Circles. That's Circles. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you know if you play like the last song and the first song, it, the album is literally a circle. Let me see it. The Circles. album is literally a circle. Really? Yeah, bro. I didn't know that. Bro, if you listen Circles. to the last song and then have it... Oh, bro, the one, this swimming, su- that swimming album Yeah, swimming is, was really good. Yeah, that's probably my favorite album out of all of them. The swimming album, definitely. I don't know, sure. Good AM was a very, very good sophomore. I thought they dropped another one. Album. I think that yeah. they like took that album off. Which one? They dropped another one after he died. No, it was just Circles. Yeah, it was Circles, and then there was another one. Was there? Yeah, bro. I just I just downloaded. I just downloaded one song off of there. I could be fucking tripping, bro. But circles. Maybe circles it was a single really or something you downloaded. Maybe it very well could have been. I could have swore that I downloaded a bro. But swimming to live me. from space right here. Oh, 2013. Yeah, Sorry. They 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 dropped a lot of his older mixtapes. Yeah, like that, kids. I think they that finally put a, kids on Apple Music a while back. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It was like older shit. Lil Wayne did that recently. Lil Bibby's really pissing me off because... Lil Baby? Lil Bibby. Bibby? Um, Juice World's manager? Or oh, I know Sonic? I know Lil Bibby, but I, don't, I know of him. I don't really know him. Bro, though. he... They keep dropping bullshit, bro. They really? dropped, they dropped like... Um, of Juice World? A couple weeks ago, they dropped... Um, what was that? Goodbye and Good Riddance? Uh-huh. Gold edition. Oh yeah, and then only, it only had, had like two, two fucking songs. songs on it, bro. Yeah, had two songs that wasn't on there. Yeah, but I mean they were leaks. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, and I've heard them before. Yeah, I've, I've heard both of them. before. I've heard them before, but they they definitely sound better. Yeah, they definitely do. The only 100%. the only song I can say that they've dropped that I didn't like better after they released it was Burn. Really? Yeah, oh, I don't know which one you're talking about. I would have to hear it. But yeah, bro, that's. <laughs> At that point, I think it's just like a money grab. Definitely, yeah, like a cheap. Mm. After but like a little, they're cop getting out they're getting grip. to the point yeah. where they're they're starting to do AI music. Oh yeah, which is why oh, I God. I really don't want to hear anything I haven't heard before. Really, because I feel like it's not authentic. Yeah, what do you think about AI music? Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! I well, literally heard a Metallica uh, AI generated song yesterday, and it was fucking was awful. It? it was awful, dude. It was like. The hook was like He was saying something like uh, Humpbacks and killer whales <laughs> <laughs> Dude it was horrible <laughs> What the fuck <laughs> This Bro Bro I heard um, Somebody AI'd a Morgan Wallen song With Juice World's voice <gasps> what, the what the fuck Dude it's creepy Like that Have you seen the video for that It's Juice crazy World? how good they are uh, Like as far as voice wise Yeah They do make them sound really good There was know, like yeah. an AI Drake song that came bro. Like a couple months and it actually had like a million two three bro the Drake views. song I know exactly which one you're talking about I that one is actually good I, I was oh, like yeah. I was sitting there I was like what the fuck I know what you're talking about that Drake song is good as fuck I ain't gonna cap it's bro what honest. do you think that what do you think about that Travis interlude that hasn't dropped yet you know what I'm talking about I think it's called S S D N or something like that that hasn't dropped yet yeah it's a leak mm-hmm. oh shit he might not post it then I know Young Thug's posting some new stuff like I mean recently like as in the last day certain artists are very on particular YouTube about it. how the fuck did he do that who? What, Young Thug? He's in jail. Oh, right well, yeah. It's just his he's, managing. He's SDP in interlude. But how? Have you he heard can that? just talk to people. He can still talk to people. SDP? SDP. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah. From uh, from uh, the To Kill a Mockingbird. Not To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that, dude. I love that shit. Wait. Yeah, that's it. Smoke some, drink some, pop one? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it stands for. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, damn it! I forgot what the fuck I was saying. Now. Bro, that's like some ass, that's some like some that's Astro some, World shit. Yeah, what the fuck was we just talking about? 
I, I was going to say something about the video with Corday and Juice World and how mm. the fuck he put Juice's face in the video. Holy shit. And young Eminem's face talking. What the fuck? Oh. Because at the beginning of the video, young Eminem pokes his head up behind the curtains and he's like, he says some shit and then fucking Corday comes out. He fucking sticks his head in the curtain, sticks it back out and he's Juice World with the same hair and he fucking rapping. Just came out like four really? days ago. That's, That's crazy, crazy how, I think it's awesome how um, Eminem put him on his album. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and and that song's on an Eminem beat. Yeah, and Eminem yeah, it went is. To music. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a. I think it's a remade beat though. Yes, I, it, yeah, because it, it sounds familiar, but it don't. It sounds familiar, but it don't. Mm-hmm. But it still goes hard. Bro, I forgot what the fuck we was talking about before that, and it's gonna piss me off. Was it AI songs? Damn it! Yeah, we was talking about AI songs and shit. But there was something else that I was gonna talk about. You said something about Drake that we talked about the Drake, Drake AI, and then yeah. there was something right after that. But I don't yeah, remember what it was. <sighs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> I'm ready for damn uh, that Travis Scott album. Oh, though. Utopia. Yeah, Utopia. Yeah, Utopia yeah. is gonna be good. I just as heard fuck. about that last night. Did y'all watch like, the Pink shit. Tape? Um, yes, I watched that earlier today. You watched it? Yeah. That little uh, anime or animated short. Yeah. yeah, that was dope. Yeah, it was pretty. It was dope. like five minutes long. It looks oh, good as fuck. Yeah, watch the whole thing. I just saw a clip, bro. He goes through like this little. I saw him beat that samurai or whatever. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Damn. Yeah. Takes the fucking perfect Takes pink gem out of his head. Puts it back in his head. Yeah. You think there's a uh, more to Juice World dying? Definitely. I don't. I don't think he took the pills. You don't think that he took them? I don't think so. What do you think caused him to pass what? away then? Well, maybe he did take the pills, but. Bro, there's just too many damn people on that plane that would get rid of him for him. You know what I'm saying? You think so? I think so. He could have somebody t- go to jail for that shit and uh, bail him out. Oh, we're talking about uh, Young Thug and how he dropped it. Oh, yeah, yeah because he has a whole fucking cover That's what of was, him and his remembered. homie sitting around the damn uh, posing for an album cover around yeah. the judge. What if that's AI generated? Exactly. Dude? It could be, yeah. And then he's got a whole fucking album. Where did he record? record? Oh, well, that's, I mean, that's old songs. Yeah, it's a lot like of Gucci Mane, bro. Gucci Mane dropped like 13 albums while he was in jail, while he was in prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He even talked about on, uh, I think it was Heroes yeah. and Villains, uh, on that Metro Spotter. He said, I'm dropping my album this year. That was, that was last year. Yeah, he was going to, it he's, was going to be, uh, his album was going to be called Pink. Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah. I remember that shit. And yeah. then that Lil Uzi's dropping one called Pink Tape. Bro, to me, Travis waited too long. Travis waited too long for what? To Bro, drop he dropped Utopia. five back to back to back to back albums in a year. Of a, and that's been five In a year? Travis yeah. Scott? Look, yeah. Been five five, five back years. to back albums. He dropped years uh, in a row. Al Farrow. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought you was talking about he years. dropped like five in, in, a, in a year. No. Five, like five years consecutive and it's been five years since his last one. Wow. Damn, I didn't. Know. I don't think that he's waited. Damn, too it's long. been five years since Astro World. No, bro, because 2018. 2018? Because at Holy that point, shit. if you he was done. on tour in 2018, I know we went. Mm-hmm. Now, if you drop too much, then you start to lose clout. That's the problem that that's, like the baby. That's what Trippy Red w- went through. Like the baby is a joke now. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Because he was dropping so much all the Everything fucking was the time. the fucking same. Nobody's same. E- nobody's expecting anything. Exactly. Nobody, you don't build that hype. Exactly. There's no there's no mystery there's or like hype the being absence built in makes between. People wonder about where the fuck did he go? Exactly. Yeah, he even talks real. about that in what is it? 48 laws of power or something? Yeah, definitely. Yep. Exactly. He really does. That's one of the yeah. laws. Scarcity creates value. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And what he uh, talked about in that was there was a there was a a lawyer like this great lawyer guy that everybody would go to for advice. It was a he was a the the leader of some well, after all this, he was the leader of some sort of country that became eventually became like uh, Peru or something mm-hmm. like that. And he was he was just a lawyer at first, and everybody came to him for advice, like everybody did. And he would give everybody advice, and then he would help everyone out. And eventually, there was too many, so many people that came to him. And he was like, you know, I can't do this. And everything was good whenever he was giving out advice. And then he stopped for like a solid month or like a year straight. And then everything like went to shit. <laughs> like everybody like started killing people. Didn't and then, know what the fuck to do. Because there was no, in this in, in this certain time, there was no like laws or anything. Like, I mean, there, there kind of was like loose laws, but there was like nothing like what should we do. 
you know, about like what what should we do about this? Like, I didn't regulate anything. Yeah, there wasn't any like regulation or any sort of like this, solid. This is back like during what medieval times, Middle Ages. Oh, or? this is I think it was like before that or something. But anyways, they called on him. They kept on calling on him, and then he he said no. And eventually, he was like, you know what? If you want to talk to me, you have to pay me X amount. And then it worked out for a little bit after he after he had already left, and they had wanted him to come back and do more. One of the he eventually yeah. became the leader, and he eventually it? yeah he eventually became the leader, kind of like George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how that story worked out too, because that book I talks mean, about him in there, I think, don't it? I don't know. I haven't. I've I haven't finished the whole books. thing. I, don't know. I haven't finished the whole thing. But um, Travis Scott, I think that he didn't wait. I think that he he waited long enough. My thing is, is like, there's a whole, there's a whole like, there's people that's went eighth grade to twelfth grade mm. without a fucking Travis album. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> dude, we had one for every year. That's okay. How long have we been waiting for a fucking uh, Frank Ocean album? <laughs> I don't think there's any more of those coming out. <laughs> there's got to be at least one. At least one more. I have to hear another Frank Ocean album before I die. I have to. And it was somebody else that I was talking about too the other day. About how I had to hear at least one more of their albums. Frank Ocean. Uh, what's some of his famous songs? Cause I think there's pyramids, a few that I like, but I can't think of. Um, pink and white. Mm. Um, Chanel. Super rich kids. Yeah. With a with girl sweatshirt. Yeah. You know oh, that song? I'm thinking of another song. I'm thinking bicycles. It's on orange. Yep. I'm thinking of another song with Jay Z. Yes, I know what you're talking about. I'm and another one on there is uh, Pink Matter. Mm-hmm. Yep. Pink Matter with Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. You know Andre 3000? I know him. And I know the, some of the songs that he that are he's famous for, but I forget the name of them. Is it Sorry, sorry Mr. Jackson? Was is that was he on that yes. one? Yes. And yeah, then there was yeah. another one. Um, gosh, I wish Roses. I could, Roses, yeah. Yep. And then um, because this he was this is more like the late nineties, early two thousands, yeah, right? Exactly. That's whenever he was I know who popping. You're ta- I know who you're talking about. I just don't yep. remember the songs. He, I the think name they, of the songs. They hit that one album with um, with Rosa Parks and um, uh, what is the other one? Um, sorry, Miss Jackson. Ain't there bombs over Baghdad? Was he in that one? I think so. That I was a think that crazy one. that one album like went diamond. Along with yeah. like a couple Damn. Eminem albums. Yeah. That was around the time <laughs> Eminem was and then fifty cent was like fifty cent. Yeah. Had some Jay Z stuff. Oh going yeah. On. Like that was right after um Outcast, yeah. Like yeah. Outcast was in like nineties. Yeah, like that was early two thousands and stuff. Yep, early two thousands. Tribe Called Quest. Tribe Called Quest. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's uh that's early nineties, I think. Oh really? Yeah. I know that. Tribe Called Quest. Yep. Like you NWA, didn't know that was early 90s. Yeah. yeah, bro. I also didn't know what the fuck does Ice T got to do with them? Ice T is he? A, was he a part of them? I don't know because I, don't really I was looking know at their fucking. Ice-T. I was looking at their fucking cover art. Uh huh. You know the most famous one with all the faces on it, and I was looking uh-huh. at Ice T. I was like, what the fuck is he doing on there? <laughs> oh no, Tribe Called Quest. Yeah, on the oh, album shit. cover, it has yeah. like a bunch of faces with like that. Uh, bo- that uh, black silhouette, uh-huh. like you know what I'm talking about, and his face is right on there. Well, I mean, he, they they're like you know, like Metallica or any other like group or band or anything. Like uh, they was just popping in the early '90s. That's whenever they started like really popping. Like Outkast started really popping in the er, uh, late '90s, early 2000s. Well, see, yeah. here's the thing about Metallica. Same thing like DMX, wasn't it? Like late '90s or mid '90s? Yeah, DMX. Yeah, something like that. I don't really remember. But the early two thousand, I think maybe early two thousand, two thousand three, or something like that. Yeah, and like Fifty Cent, definitely. Yeah. Two thousand three, he came out with a "Get Rich or, or Die Trying." I think that was. Yeah, name. bro, that's a really hard good. album. Dude, I worked out to that album. That yes, whole album. I posted that shit on my story. What there's I was not many albums like that whole out al- like, but yeah. like that whole album and a lot of Drake albums. Yep, I fuck with a lot of Drake albums. Like, oh, you don't like Drake. You don't fuck with Drake I Mason? I wouldn't say a lot. I'm I'm fifty fifty. Really? Views Drake. and take care was okay. 
Oh, yeah. Take Care is probably my favorite Drake album, but I don't go listen to it. That's a very good album. Anymore? That whole album. Bro, Marvin's Room. That a, song it's, right there. It's a good song. I don't Pound like to admit trophies. it anymore, but... Trophies. Trophies was a good song. Yeah. I remember listening to that. Trophies, shit all that's the time. A, that was on like a Young Money album. Yeah. That, that was, was one Money. of the Migos' first songs, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Oh, shit. Whenever I think of like one of the Migos' first songs, I think of Hannah Montana. Versace. Hannah Montana. And Versace. Yeah. That's yes. when they really started popping. And then they or made Fight Night. I they made Fight, uh, Fight Night. Yeah. They made Stir Fry and all that. Dude, and they kind of just. Off. Holy fuck. That Stir is crazy. Fry, that's still. late, though. That's, that's it's, late. It's later, goes. yeah, but. Yeah. That's like, that, I don't think that was on an album, though. It was. It was? It was a single, but it was on the, oh. it was like a pre-release for the album. Probably like Culture 2. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it was Culture 2. Yeah. But that was really, I, they kind of split R. up R. after take that. Off. Yeah. They yeah. split up, one of them died. And Offset yeah, take and, off did. Uh, Offset and uh, Quavo shot. did a thing. Offset and Quavo just, hey man, yeah, just, just, got de- got, just got together again. Yeah. After all that shit. Mm-hmm. That's wild as fuck. Bro, Takeoff was the one too. Takeoff was the bro, one. He was the best one. He was the best one out of all of them. Buda, buda, buda. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he was always yeah. saying some shit, and he would be like in, um, Lil Wayne. You'd always have to rewind the shit to get like you would <laughs> oh, catch it yeah, like yeah, three yeah. or four uh, bars yeah. after, and you'd be like, "Hold up, wait a second. Yeah, I, I hear that again. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think I think Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper. You'll see that video where he's, he's like, definitely the, up there in the greatest, bro. Definitely, a hundred percent. He's uh, interviewing. Uh, he's, <laughs> I think I know. He, what he names off the first the top two rappers on the list. And he goes, Eminem ain't on the list. He <laughs> <laughs> said, Nah, Gucci Mane. And he goes, Oh, Gucci. Okay. <laughs> he said, Gucci Mane on the list. Bro, you seen that interview <laughs> where he's like, You sometimes I gotta Google if I've said something before or not. Mm-hmm. Talking yeah. to Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're playing something. He's like, Holy fuck, I said that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like he don't remember half he of the legendary remember. shit he's he so said. Oh, high. like that one shit. There was like. um you better wear a latex because you don't want that latex that I think I'm latex. And he was sitting here, so he, he got his eyes got real big. Like, I said that. I said that. I was like, damn. <laughs> that shit's hard. Bro, I'll never forget. I, I got into Lil Wayne because I because I got grounded. You got grounded? I got yeah. grounded when I was young. All I, had, all I fucking had was a radio. Uh-huh. So, uh, um, all my people rich as fuck. That song oh, on the radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, that that's how I got my little this hard. That Car- and Car- uh, Two the Carter album with you yeah. know six foot oh, seven yeah. foot, of course. Oh yeah, Millie. Carter Carter mm-hmm. Four mm-hmm. Forever's what got me Millie? into, into Millie. Drake and Lil Wayne. Uh, that's uh, that's Millie Carter Three, three. Yeah. bro. I know all those albums. Mm-hmm. Yep, Fire Fireman. Yeah, oh, yeah, Fireman. That was, like, that was one of his very first. Yeah, that's like one of his first out. That's uh on like five hundred degrees. I think that's the album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's an awesome album for sure. Young Money was a gem. Yeah, and my like, yeah, I, I missed that. You missed that. It's kind of it was like a it was like a group. Yeah, it had like what yeah. Nicki Minaj on there, and Nikki. it had Drake, right? Nicki, Drake, yeah, Lil Wayne, or, or in early days. Nicki, Drake, and Lil Wayne. Yep. Damn. Yeah, they that were running shit. And Kanye was, was a part of it at one point. Wasn't cash it? Money, shit. Young mm-hmm. Money, Cash Money, and who? Kanye. Kanye, he was on Forever. I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was. Be I don't remember if he was Jam. on Forever. Yeah, you like remember that song? Lil Wayne, Kanye, was, Dre, it was Eminem, Eminem. Was and Eminem. Last yeah. verse, dude. That's like that's got to be the the most the song with the most fucking credentials on it. Yeah, I remember that yeah. song coming out in middle well, school, bro. And that was a big deal. Have you heard the DJ Khaled albums? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I've heard DJ a little. I, I remember. Uh, I got the keys. From yeah. a long time ago, I like about that. Christ. <laughs> yes. Damn, bro. When Let's that song go came golfing. out, <laughs> bro, that's all he does now is fucking golf. Yeah, I literally just saw something this morning of him fucking backing up over a curb in a golf cart after he got stuck in the sand. And he said, <laughs> "He said life's full of roadblocks. You just got to keep going." <laughs> oh fuck! Damn it. That's all right, bro. But I remember when I got the keys came out. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was hanging out with Preston a lot at the time. And that dude played that song in the car all the fucking time, dude. <laughs> I got the keys. And like it was it was hard for the first 50, 60 times that he played it, but it got real old real fast. Dude. Damn. Mr. I didn't even nice realize guy. That. What? I know who fucking did that design that. Oh, Fernando? Mm-mm. Huh. No. 
Thomas designed that for Fernando. Oh, did he really? I did not know that. It started off different, though. Yeah, but Thomas claimed that he designed my logo, too. The Ace of Hearts? Yeah. The fuck? That's what he'll claim. Hey, but, I never heard him say that. But in I reality, he probably won't say it on the damn though. iPad. Yeah. Well, I mean, I because I learned. See, the thing is, as I wanted him to help me, I wanted him to help me at first because he did have an eye. He had that big ass iPad, mm-hmm. and he had that um, pencil. The pencil, and I didn't have one, and so I went over there and I was like, "Yo, Thomas, can you help me out with this?" But he kind of didn't. He kind of didn't want to help me or some shit. Yeah, he's fucking weird ass. And then he was yeah. like, he like kind of didn't want to help me, and then he he like was like, "Well, how much money do I get?" or some shit like that. And I was like, "Bro, I'll pay you." And he like kind of didn't want to do it, and I was like, "All right, bro, well, just let me have the iPad." And then I'll do it. So I made the very first Ace of Hearts logo on his iPad, but I mean, I don't give him any credit for it. Dude, I straight up told him I'd give him $100 to design my t- tattoo I wanted. Uh-huh. He never did it. Really? It's like, he's worried about getting paid, but he don't well, He don't want to do it. Most artists don't let you do that anyways. Don't let you do what? Bring in shit. Well, like, that doesn't make any sense. Bring in shit pre-designed. They want to design it to sell. Well, that's what I told him. I told him what I wanted. I told him just like to make it his own. Mm-hmm. But like he's I not going to put it on you. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The artist that's actually putting it on you wants to make it. Um, that's true. I had this one picked out. Actually, I made See, this sometimes logo. sometimes they do. I actually made this logo. Is that for your Ace of Hearts? Yeah. Dude, that's cool. The Ghost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all see that. Ain't that yeah, on your shirt bro. right now? Oh, shit, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I made that logo, and I made that logo up on your... Uh, no, it's on your hat. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro. The wholehearted entertainment gotcha, bitch. logo. Yeah. Yep. That one took a minute. I, I learned how to do it after a you while. You got that same logo on your um, business cards. Yes, sir. Yep. I sure do. Bro, I need to give you a business card. Yep. Okay. And they're, they're good quality business cards, too. Yes, yeah, sir. Bro, you can can we hand them out? You can definitely scrape, scrape yeah. a line of Coke with it. Bro, did I? Oh, yeah. Damn. I tried. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. I yeah, don't you know. You can get your Coke scrapers. Um, I don't know where the fuck they are. You got a big ass box. Godera. I don't know. Godera probably has one. Yeah, Godera probably has them. I got a couple at the house. Well, the other house. Yeah, bro, I didn't realize how like deep you're going into this shit, bro. Oh yeah, I'm knee deep. Actually, I'm probably chest deep in this shit. Ain't what about the whole back. photography stuff? You still do it? Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm not as. You still you do it with Hunter or no? No, you don't. Nah, bro. <laughs> well, you can say what you want because I ain't talked to him. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I was getting ready to ask you that. I well, mean, is he? Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't I, think I he know. fucks with me, bro. He I don't have a problem. Me. I don't have a problem with him. He don't fuck with me, bro. but he, I don't think he fucks with me really. He he went off way off on a tangent. Really? He hangs out with a lot of rich people now, dude. He oh, totally shit. flipped because yeah. Remember when he wanted me to go to uh, what was it, Ohio? Yeah. To do that shit. Yeah. And I t- ended up not going because I didn't want to lose my job over it. Uh. Right? And dude, he fucking. I was like a ghost to him after that. And then he went it off and started doing exactly what he like preached against. Yeah. Almost. Uh, partying all the fucking time. <laughs> well, it's like, I don't know, dude. Like, I remember one time, like, he wanted me to go to a party so bad. And, dude, I was so tired, like, I could fall asleep sitting down. And I told him I didn't want to go. It's like, he, it's like, it's like he can't be told no. Yeah. Oh, shit. Honor. Bro, he, um, yeah. I think he don't fuck with me because I be taking pictures at parties, too. And I damn, um. He texted me the other day and said, I miss you, but. I mean, I, I, I really, really talk to him. I don't even think I ever met this like, guy. Like, I kept on asking him. I Like, I would ask him sometimes, like, where the parties was. Like, because he would have, like, he would ask. He would be like, if you want to know where the party is, just, like, swipe up or some shit. He wouldn't post the Addy on a story. And I would ask him. And he wouldn't send it to me. There would be several times. But before that, he would send it to me. And I think he noticed that I was taking pictures there at the party with him. And then he would be taking pictures, too. And I ain't going to lie, my camera's a little better. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's besides the fact. That's besides the point. <laughs> but the point is, is I be pulling up and taking pictures of everybody. Mm-hmm. And he be doing the same thing. And then he, I think eventually he just stopped. Like, I would ask him. Later on, I would ask him for the party. And then he wouldn't send it to me. And I would have to get I would have to get the location from somebody else. Or somebody else would send he me the location. He wanted to be the one to take the pictures of the party or something. Went, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is his uh this is his world. And then he posted some sly shit about me. <laughs> yeah. We'll go find him and do something. He posted some sly shit about me on a damn uh on his damn story. See, and like then it, I was like, All right, well then let's compare work. He said something about uh something about followers and damn um 
in Instagram or some shit. He was like, I'm going to build mine up from the bottom. And then I was like, all right, then let's compare work. And then I said, at me next time. And he didn't, he didn't open it for a good, like, six months. <laughs> Sounds like him. Yeah, hey, I mean, he, like, gives you, he, like, at first, like, you like you think he's a good guy. Yeah. And then, like, he wants, like, he flips the script. Yeah. So, I, mean, I, don't, I, I mean, I really don't have anything against him personally, but it's just, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Have I ever met this <laughs> person? What it is. Yeah. Have I ever met this person, Hunter? Yeah, probably. He... Well, yes, you definitely have. I have a couple pictures with you and him. He would be at the, some of those parties, and he would send. He would take pictures there, and he would upload all them shits too. Yeah, mm-hmm. bro. Let's check out your website, Hunter, and then check out mine. <laughs> Let's look at them. <laughs> it is what it is, buddy. <laughs> Damn it! Not everybody had good quality. Yeah, I just don't know why he'd be mad about that stuff. I know. It's just because I guess it's, it's like pe- competition. It's, petty. it's a petty shit. I can be the only one because I because I think it's a well for him. He it's like a, almost like a he feeds off of it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because uh, I mean, like he I just show, off of it. I just show up. I just show up to get good pictures. Just just for just to have good quality pictures, and then that's what I'm. That's what a lot of like my brand is about art, you know, and then photography falls into that. And I just so happen to take really good pictures at parties. So that's what I do. And I don't think that he fucks with that. Do you, do you sell pictures? <laughs> I can. Okay. Well, like actually, you- I post everything everything that I do, like in group events. I usually post on my... Um, I have done the photo shoots with people. And I've, I mean, I've had some... Um, I've did a few photo shoots, but... Usually, I would just go to parties and just take pictures, and I'll upload them on website on my website. And then you can network off of that too, because some people within those parties will want photo shoots afterwards, and then I can do photo shoots with them afterwards. Exactly, and like I was thinking, like maybe sell like a like a uh, like an album of the party. Oh well, I just do it for free, just because I like to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, just because I am it's for the people. Well, yeah, and I genuinely like to see the like to see moments, the pictures it's, it's afterwards. It's like free advertising, pretty much. Yeah, and it's free advertisement. Absolutely, I mean, it's, it's, it's not. It's your time, and it's your, it's your, dude. You know, it's it's taking up space in your in your SIM card, but exactly. But but at the same time, you're. But getting, whenever I do it, clients that way. Yes, and not even that. It's just because I I legitimately just started doing it just because I would. I thought that it would be uh, originally I got the camera. I bought the camera to take pictures of like my products. Like whenever I, I was selling shirts and shit, I originally got the camera for that. So I could take pictures of everything and then I could post it up on my website. But then later on I was like, you know what? I could use this camera for other shit. Like, and I, w- I decided to take it to a party and I looked at them and I was like, I fuck with this heavy. Mm-hmm. Like, and I took really, really good pictures. And I was yeah. like, yeah. and everybody else fucked with them too. And they and they want to have them. Exactly. And they want to have them. Because everybody, want, everybody wants photos from everything. Exactly. And I mean, I really didn't want, I, I thought about charging people for them too. Because I mean, they, they're really, really good pictures. They're very high quality pictures. But I was like, you know what? Honestly, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put this as a part of, um, like my brand and eventually if I if somebody wants to wants to have photo shoots done like, then like big time party like bigger parties yeah like bigger parties and shit yeah, like hired. that exactly they they'll hire me and then I'll come take pictures for them and exactly. shit exactly yep that but, so that that is literally your marketing is the yeah you're like building your own building a brand basically exactly but I, I mean I'm right now I'm more focused on um paintings and shit okay oh I I see uh Damn, you really got the whole setup. But it all, it all, it all um, blends in together. That's what I was talking to you about, like my articles of organization. You heading out, Seth? Well, I was supposed to leave at six, like six ten. Now I got to put mulch out and stuff. Okay, Seth. Well, that's straight, bro. Good seeing you too, bro. All right, Seth. Yeah, bro. We'll catch you on the fucking flip side. I see, bro. Might have to flip seats here. All right, Seth. We'll catch you, bro. Yeah, you gonna switch seats? Yes. Right, turn that mic off. Yeah, you can turn that mic up. All right, Seth. We'll catch you, bro. Right, see you, Seth. Yeah, bro. Join the Purple Sofa Club. It's a nice sofa. Thanks, bro. The Purple Chofa. Yep. But that's why I'm so... Um, 
I'm a little concerned with my um like brand structure because there's a brand structure to it. And that's how I really want to, I'm having the difficulty of um, how I would want my articles of organization to be because I would probably either have to have DBAs, like doing businesses as, or I would have to have, um, I would have to have separate LLCs or DBAs that lead into LLCs because I want it to all be organized properly and I want it to all be professional. I, that's all, that's really the main goal of everything is I want it to all be professional, but I'm really more focused on my art more than anything. And then, um, like, taking pictures and shit is just, like, a byproduct of that. Passive. Yeah. Like, the Ace of Not Hearts really brand. Passive, but like, I want the Ace of Hearts brand to be a parent company. And then under that, Damn. like, wholehearted entertainment. You got it, Josh? I'm over here trying to e- fucked up. trying to explain to him my whole entire life. A towel? Or something like a towel what happened? <laughs> fucked his water up. Oh damn, Josh! Damn it, party foul! <laughs> You're freaking out. Uh, there should be towels. There should be paper towels in there, or you can grab a, a hand towel that's in one of those drawers. Uh, yeah. You, got, like you just gotta f- guess what drawer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it should be like the second or third drawer. I really don't even know. Uh, should we call Sierra in here <laughs> to help us? I got it. Yeah, Josh has got it. That's okay, bro. That's all good, bro. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Did it get on the rug? It has a lot of water. It got all over the rug, didn't it? Damn it, It's just Josh. water, bro. It'll be all right. It's just water. It's all right. We'll just have mold everywhere. It's no big <laughs> deal, Josh. <laughs> We'll just have mold it on the floor, and then the burr, floor burr, will be half burr, burr. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> molded floor. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Damn it! How long have we got on this podcast? Two hours. We're two hours in. Shit. Shit. Nobody watches this far in anyway. I know. You want to wrap it up, Josh? <laughs> you just want to wrap it up on this note. <laughs> that's all right we'll we'll continue talking off of off camera that's all right we'll go deep into deeper stories right. sorry we're sorry you guys that we have to shut it off and go into deeper stories without you yeah yeah we'll save it for another day we'll save it for another fucking day we fuck with you though bam, thanks. Bam, 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 bam. thanks for watching this far me, if you have watched this far let me get it <laughs> and i'm like talking to all two people out there www Ace of Hearts info. Ace of Hearts dot info. Ace of Hearts dot in, dot info. Yeah, he, Sierra, we was about to call. We, we, we was put about him to, to work. holler for you. We put him to work. Okay, Sierra. Now what I need you to do, right now. I hope you didn't get my rug wet. Yep. Bam bam. All right, Sierra. I need you to go over there and turn that camera off real quick. Peace. Yeah, turn that camera off real quick. Peace. The fuck out.